Hello, hello, everybody. And yes, hello, Evening Neon. Let's see what we can do today. Indeed, and what we're going to do today is another special episode. We won't do both of them, because we unlocked two last time, because it was just episode, 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 chapter, 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 just going on and on and on. Because <laughs> it was just like a whole section of story that happened there for a while. But, so yeah, tonight we are going to do uh, Igly Buff, the Prodigy. Which, obviously, unless it's just a complete subversion, is going to be, I assume, the backstory to uh, Wigglytuff, the guild leader. But yes, once again, a very much big thank you to the Expanded Sky ROM hack slash mod creators. Because it is uh, very nice, it's just a fun thing. Once again, the link to that mod ROM hack can be found in the description of every single stream of this and every video uploaded of this, because just props to them, it's nice and good. But yes, let us go and see the story of Iglybuff the Prodigy. Because again, I've never played these before. So it'll be interesting to see what this is. All right, we begin with our main team, sleeping. <laughs> of course, he's still snoring up a storm. I kind of like it. <laughs> is that Cursed Mountain patched yet? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I've been avoiding Mount Bristle. Again, I, one of these days I should make an account on that website and be like, hey, hey I've ran into a recurrent issue of Mount Bristle. Um, hanging on the emulator. <laughs> Might want to check that out. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. It'll just be interesting to see what this is, because I've never played these before. Psst! Guildmaster! It's Chatot! Uh, I'm coming in! A midnight tryst, is it? And Wigglytuff is just standing there. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Here's your perfect apple. Yay! Thank you. Hey, he just dances with it. This is the last time. Each night I sneak away from everyone and bring you a perfect apple from storage. Where do you even sleep, Chaton? Because it doesn't feel like we have that many rooms. In this place. I'm fed up with it. Please, let me stop doing this. I'm begging. <laughs> <laughs> this is an odd relationship they have. That is, the guildmaster would sneak in and eat any one anyway if I didn't bring him one. Oh! Is this a defend globe? It's all right. It's not damaged. That's good. I thought it got chipped or broken when I dropped it. <laughs> That's kind of a rare item for you, Guildmaster. You're usually pretty rough with items, Guildmaster, but it's nice to see there's one item that you take good care of. Guildmaster is always taking care of perfect apples. That is, he's like that again today. That is, it seems like that Defend Globe is a very precious exclusive item, isn't it? But this item only has an effect on Bug-type Pokémon. So even though you're holding on to it, Guildmaster, it's not very useful, is it? Yes, I know you're right, but... But this is a special thing. Special thing? Yep, <laughs> special thing. It's why, when I decided to become an explorer, the starting point. Interesting. Perfection brain. Give me art block. Oh, that sucks. Special episode two. Iglybuff, the prodigy. <laughs> but yeah, I can definitely feel that, like, sometimes I go weeks without being able to put ideas to paper. But I have been making lots of art of my Sylveon character I decided to create. So, that I just need to keep the ball rolling there. Hope that the art block breaks for you, so that you might... Begin a graceful art journey. <laughs> Way back when. Yep, that was back when I was still a small child. I wasn't Wigglytuff yet. 
This was back when I was still an Iggly Buff. I kind of like that Wiggly Tough and Iggly Buff were... Oh! There were everyone lived an easy life. It was a very peaceful prairie. I was raised in that little house. I lived happily there with my parents. <laughs> of course they're both Wiggly Tufts. <laughs> Good morning, Nigglybuff. Yep. Good morning, Papa, Mama. Hey, Nigglybuff. You've got plans to play with your friends today, right? I bought a bunch of gummies. Take some to share. Yep. Thanks, Mama. Nigglybuff received many gummies from Mama. Nigglybuff. Nigglybuff. Let's play. Look. Your friends are here. Be careful. Come home before it gets dark. Yep, I'm off. The special episode Iggly Buff the Prodigy stars Iggly Buff as the main character. I, I kind of find that funny that they actually just have to do this introduction each time. You will progress through the story with Iggly Buff as the playable character. Also, you can save your adventure from Iggly Buff's bed. Iggly Buff's bed is the top one on the left. I like that they actually point that out to you. <laughs> to save your progress, visit Iggly Buff's bed. But to complete my thought, I like that in the opening, Wigglytuff and Iggly Buff were two different colors of like a similar color, but just like slightly different. I like that. He's down bouncing all around. Iggly Buff, it's good to see you have so many friends. Be nice to your friends, okay? Yep. My friendly friends. They're gonna betray him, aren't they? Look at that specialized map they made for this. Look at the top screen. I like that. I like that. That's just such nice detailing. They didn't even need to make a map, but they made a map. I love it. Oh, Igglybuff! Hi, everyone! Hey, let's go, let's go! I like that they're all, like, at least mostly baby Pokemon here. Hey, what should we play today? Let's go play in the mud! Yuck, I don't want to! It's unladylike to get all muddy, smooch! I brought some gummies. Would you guys like one? Hey! I want one! I love gummies so, so much smooches. I hope they actually let you kind of explore around a bit. Hey, gummies. How are they? Great, delicious. Thank you. Choo-choo. Gummies are tasty. You're the best, Iggly Buff. <laughs> I'm happy too, friendly friend. Yay, I love gummies. Thanks, Ickly Buff. Smooches. Something's gonna go wrong eventually, I feel. Hey, you guys. You guys, what are you doing here? Oh, no. Them? The bullies, Bennett and Scorpy. Oh, hey! This is music from... Rescue Team. <laughs> oh, hey, Iggly Buff. You've got gummies? Give us some gummies, too! Lots. Bunches. Heaps of them. Yep, sure. Friendly friends. Why is Iggly Buff making friends with those bullies? I sometimes play with Bennett's group, but they always boss me around. And if you cross them, they're really mean. <laughs> Maybe Igglybuff isn't scared of those two? No, he's just a friendly idiot. Gummies are so delicious. It's kind of weird that this guy isn't the slightest bit scared of us. Yeah, they're all so yummy, Choo Choo. But it's fine as long as we can boss him around. <laughs> hey, give me another gummy. Me too. Yep. Oh, huh? I'm all out of gummies. I had so many of them, too. I wonder what happened. Sorry. 
It's all right. Ah, I mean, weighed them all up, didn't he notice? It's all right. We'll forgive you. Just bring more gummies next time. Yep, friendly friends. Uh, does Nigglybuff realize he's being played by Finette? I hate that. I won't forgive this. You shouldn't get involved. They're really big and scary. <laughs> hey, everyone. We should go talk to Igglybuff's mama. She'll know what to do. Yep. Yeah. I'm more like friendly fool. Yep. I like that little, like, moon in the sky. Sleep now, sweet little child. You are truly adorable. Sleep now, sweet little child. Mm -hmm. All right, he's sleeping. Hey, Papa. <laughs> That's just their names. They have, they don't have names. They just have titles now. Once you become a parent, your name gets erased from history. So it can be reused. Hey, Papa, I've been worried about something. Huh? What is it, Mama? <laughs> it's like Mama Bear and Papa Bear. I heard from Igglybuff's friends today. Igglybuff is being manipulated by some bullies. Some bullies? Yeah, Igglybuff's friends came to talk to me about it. Hey, Papa, you don't think he'd become like them, do you? Sometimes I really have no clue what that child is thinking. So I'm a little worried. Yeah, that does seem troublesome. But, but I think it's all right. Igglybuff is still so cheerful. No matter how he may seem deep down, he has a good heart. Besides, didn't we have this discussion before? Back when I climbed that mountain with Igglybuff on our way home. When Igglybuff and I returned from mountain climbing the mountain, we found ourselves stuck in a sudden storm. How'd you not notice the weather? Then again, I guess rainy day exists in this world. So scary. Are you all right, Igglybuff? Yeah. Can you feel that? The storm is causing the ground to shake. We need to get off this mountain quickly. It's too dangerous to be here. Let's hurry. Yeah. Uh, Igglybuff! And right then, this huge boulder started to fall right above me. Whoa! Papa! It's no good. I'm going to be crushed. And just when I thought that... You ta! Somehow the boulder was smashed to pieces. I wasn't crushed by the boulder. Somehow I was saved. He used his magical powers of annihilation. I'm not sure what happened, and I still don't exactly know what it was, but I'm sure that it was Igglybuff that saved me. Of that, I'm certain. That kid has some kind of mysterious power. He doesn't just have some strong power. When people are in trouble, that's when it appears. I get the feeling this power is full of his kindness for others. I understand your concerns, Mama. But I think we should trust our child a little more, okay? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Papa. He'll be okay. After all, he is our son. Yeah, it's a good thing to be concerned about, Mama. So don't worry. That is, the fact that you are concerned, Mama. It just shows how much you truly care about Igglybuff, right? Yeah, thank you, Papa. I do find it kind of cool that Yumta is just like an actual thing for him. Which also kind of implies that this Wigglytuff is like the same one from Rescue Team, because he also did Yumta back then. Which makes me think that, like, Chadot was being driven crazy by Wigglytuff, so it's like, Oh, Guildmaster! Uh, how about you go on a long uh, exploration of this other continent? He's like, that sounds wonderful. I'll become a landlord. And then he just doesn't understand what a landlord is. So he's just like sells the property at flat prices. 
If you're wondering what got me stumped on my art, I was wondering what to write on the book cover for the gag that I was talking about yesterday. Hidden, hidden power moment. That's also true. <laughs> Bidoof almost could have been the next Yumta Guardian. Huh. But yeah, because you do need like a snappy name for the parenting book. Which could be any number of things. Could be as basic as parenting for gummies. <laughs> parenting for gummies? No, dummies. I'm the dummy because I replace dummy with gummy. I'm a, I am, I am a fool. I'm a, I bleh. Yeah, there's like many, basically, I would suggest just writing down many different ideas so you have a nice wide selection to choose from. Doesn't hurt to have too many ideas. Hell, you could even uh, make it so that each different name is like a different volume of the full-on parenting book series. <laughs> the next morning. Good morning, Papa, Mama. Good morning. Good morning, Nigglypuff. Are you headed out with friends again today? Yep. Be careful, okay? Come home before it gets dark. Yep. Got it, Mama. Okay. I'm off. See you later. Take care. I guess it is such a peaceful, peaceful prairie that they don't really have to worry too much about just letting their kids walk about. Huh? You want to play explorers? Yeah. Let's play explorers. We want to become an exploration team in the future. So we should go out and explore unknown areas. What do you think? It's great, right? So, this unknown place, where are we going? Hmm, that's a good question. You'd make a good apprentice explorer, Bidu. We decided on a place. Murky Forest. What? M murky Forest? Is that what you said? Smooches, no way. I don't want to. Going to that forest is not allowed at all. My mummy even said so. There's even a rumor that a big scary monster lives in the forest. Why do you want to go there? Doesn't it seem like the type of place that exploration teams would go? Tell me, does that mean that you're scared to go? No, I'm not scared. It's just that you shouldn't go places you've been told not to go. I d don't like it. I'm not going. B me neither. I'm staying out of it. Same here. What's this? They're all a bunch of cowards. They're scared and making up all these lame excuses. It's pathetic. I doubt they'll ever be a real exploration team when they grow up. Not at all likely. I hope. I hope, game. Game, I demand that those three return in some shape, way, or form as adults, either in like a special episode or just visiting Treasure Town. I long for it. Hey, what's an exploration team? What? You don't know what an exploration team is? Nope. But you're still here, so that means... That means you've got the courage? Yep, I do. All right. You'll do. Come along. Yay, thanks, friends. All right. Everyone, line up. Some new music. This is it. <laughs> kind of wonky. I kind of like it. All right. From now on, we're an exploration team headed for Murky Forest. Gather up your courage and let's go! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Ooh! Ooh! Like, they don't even seem that bad as bullies. They just seem like very, very pushy jerks. But this is interesting. Let me see. Are these guys... Nope, I can't control them either. So that probably means they're going to betray me. And once again, we are back to semi-reused music from Rescue Team, which I don't mind. The music's still good. And dear God, Igglybuff 
is stronger than, well, he has a higher level than Bidoof was. Meanwhile, Skroopy is actually a freaking boss in terms of health. Hey, Neon, I'm currently on work break, so I won't be able to watch most of the stream today. Oh, that's fine. These all get uploaded for posterity anyway, so people can enjoy watching all these whenever they're good. Let's see, we have Charm, Defense Curl, Pound, Sweet Kiss. I need information on these. Charm halves the target's attack, so that's a good thing to have. I need to, hmm, at least one defense curl per, uh, per floor, I would say. Afflicts the target enemy with confused status condition. A Pokemon with confused status has its moves and attacks go astray. All right, then. Let's see, so... I do believe... Well, first things first, I definitely have to keep pushing that one. I shall reorder to make you my primary. Let's see. Wrong thing. There we go. You jerk. I can just annihilate these guys in one hit. Ooh. <laughs> that was a neat knockoff animation. Die. Do, 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 do. Uh, we've come to s uh, smite you. Oh, hey, gravel rock. Set just because we can. I was going to say, I wonder if they're kind and... Hmm, interesting. Scroopy was falling behind there. Scroopy, why are you falling... Oh, it's because this guy cuts corners because he's ghost. I see now. I was like, why does Scroopy keep uh, falling behind? It's because his pal is a ghost. So either Igglybuff and the bullies are just outright gods among the children, or this place is not nearly as dangerous as they were all led to believe. Jesus Christ, the multi-hit moves are bad. I would expect, like, one of them to hit. Do, 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 do. I do kind of like... I wonder if that's the connection that Wigglytuff was technically in Rescue Team. So... They're using Rescue Team music for the most part. For this. I think that would be neat. Because I don't recall, like, ba ba ba. I do not recall if uh, Bidoof's episode was like that. Welcome, welcome, Zinc Band. A held item that boosts. We can't afford that. A twist band and a scope lens. We're not. We're not wealthy enough to buy that. We're children. One idea was of of what the fuck. All right. I guess we leave now. <laughs> okay. One idea of mine was the How to Be a Responsible Parent Simplified Edition Volume One by Kangaskhan for the book name. Kangaskhan would be the the author that <laughs> fits perfectly. Maybe this Kangaskhan lives in a more peaceful area, so they don't really need, like, an explorer bank of, like, items. And so instead, she's just like, man, there's a lot of bad author <laughs> bad parents around here. I should probably do something about that. I wonder 
now, like, how many Pokemon would be good parents versus bad parents out there in the Pokemon world? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and funnily enough, while I was thinking on Pokemon, because as you do, due to the fact that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon brain rot is, well, rotting away my brain, my brain went and decided, hmm, you know what? Another aspect of Pokemon racism would be, how do Pokemon react to shiny Pokemon? Because, you know, my thoughts can't be normal. Let's see, I forget. I keep pressing the wrong thing because I'm a fool. My thoughts cannot be normal, for I am but a freak. It's like from that one episode of the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared show. Hello, freaks! It's me! Except I'm also the freak. Hello, freaks, it's me. But I say that to myself. Do -do -do -do. Mama. It is very nice to kind of bring back... Like, the classic. Well, not really classic. It feels classic now, because... <laughs> Rescue Team feels like ages ago. But it just... It's just neat to hear Rescue Team music and Explorers. Again, entirely possible that... Rescue Team music had appeared before, and I'm just but a fool. But this this one feels highly recognizable. Yes, yes. Let me see. A power band? I don't think I can afford that. I'm very poor. I can't... Well, I can't afford a violent seed, but I don't really care all that much. Oddly enough, I don't think that the bullies are gonna betray Iglybuff. I don't think they're gonna try and murk him in here. Then again, who knows? never trust these guys. A part of me kind of goes like, hmm, I wonder if they'll be like, we got a lot of money while traversing through that there forest. What if we just kill Iglybuff and keep it all? But they seem to be actual children. Very simple. So I don't think they'd go straight to murder. I doubt this guy is <laughs> like frickin' Gengar. You're just bullying this Weedle, man. I mean, I know I could have ended his misery in one go, but... That doesn't mean that we should, like, super prolong it. I do miss my acute smell ability. IQ power. It was very handy. Oh, hey, a Burmy. It's been a bit. Oh, I just have Cute Charm automatically activated. You know what? Kill him. Get rocked, idiot. Rocks still work, idiot. For the power of rock, I will kill you. Do, 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 do. And now I'm out of rocks. I'm out of rocks. I'm out of raw rocks. I also keep forgetting to put on my defense curl. It's usually because I don't really have much, like, use for defense curl. Or, like, stat changing abilities on myself. I just never really have them. I only have, like, Growl and Howl and stuff, and, I, and then I don't use them. Of course, it would splash away. And then the Scroopy just frickin' murdered the guy. Bop, 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 bop. I did a lot of damage with one barrage.
You'd think that, like, barrage attacks would do, like, low damage. Let's see. Stun Seed. I guess that wouldn't actually be bad. I'll take it. Just don't accidentally kill the merchant. He will annihilate us even if we are children. Oh, I got an idea for a detail in the books, like uh, a fire type could be holding a fire version of the book. That would be a nice detail. Not exactly sure how you would, like, do that visually, but that is a, nice, a neat thing to keep in mind. Details are very important. Or at least they heighten the experience. That's something that I need to keep in mind with my own drawings and art, because I keep... Brain likes to f go fast with art. We... we've come pretty far. It's really dark place, this is. Ugh. Huh? What's wrong, Scroopy? But this is that place that everyone says you're not supposed to go. The... the depths of this forest. And the rumor of this... A Terrible monster living here. What is it? Are you suddenly afraid now that we're here? I've got no sympathy. If you say that, if you say that, you. You're making me start to feel scared. Meanwhile, Igly Buff is just not afraid at all. Probably. No, because actually, I think. Wigglytuff and like got kind of scared sometimes, but it just who knows. Scary. There's something here though. Don't don't say that, you you coward. What is it? Now that you say it, Bennett, you're really scared, aren't you? Scared me? What nonsense! Don't pretend to be tough. Even while you're talking, I can see tears welling up in your eyes. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. Man, I feel sorry for him. I'll show you I'm not scared. Hey, hey, you terrible monster. Can you hear me? What? I'm the great Bennett. I'm an explorer. We've come to beat you. So quit hiding and come on out. It's... it's not coming out. What's this? Not here. I knew it. I knew it was all... Uh, knew it all along. From the start. I knew that it was just a simple rumor. Nothing more. There was no monster here. There never was one. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> All right, I guess this exploration is done. Everyone, let's go home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you fools. Did you just hear something? Some, I think I heard some kind of growl. That's an interesting like sound effect to use there. Hey, you over there. Didn't you say you're an exploration team? Gas, 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 gas. <laughs> Get out of here! Coming in here. I don't know who in the world you think you are. And then there's Igglybuff. What's this? A bunch of kids. Uh, were there more of you? You too, Junior! You better run away quick! If you stay here, something bad will happen! He just keeps doing it over and over again. Hey, mister. What are you doing here, mister? Aren't, aren't you scared? Aren't you scared of me? 
Nope, not scared. So what are you doing here anyway, mister? He, he's a strange little fellow. Hey, tell me. Tell, tell. I told you to go home. If you answer me, I'll go home. Answer, answer. No, hey, go home. A short answer's fine. Finally fine. Uh, your persistence. I guess I've got no choice. I'll tell you a little. Come with me. Yay! I wonder if Bayonet and Skaroopy are going to inform like, We ran away, but but Igglybuff didn't follow. That would actually be interesting. I'm just a sucker for small details. Small details, when done right, they're just a cherry on top. It's grand. Oh, there's an opening in the rock here, deep in the forest. We're going in. Oh, this is nice. I like it. Wow, amazing. Secret base, secret base. Not quite. It's not a secret base. It's just my home. My name is Armaldo. I used to be an explorer. But not anymore. Because of one thing. I've taken a break from exploring. And so I spend my days here. So what's exploring? Huh? You don't know about exploring? Exploring is so much fun. It's incredibly exciting. So much fun? Incredibly exciting? That's right. Distant lands, uncharted territory. You visit many remarkable places and solve the mysteries you find there. I guess this also kind of explains why Wigglytuff in, like, the rescue games was selling friend areas. Because he explored all around the place. And it's just like, ooh, I can show people how to get here. You visit remarkable places and solve the mysteries you find there. Really? And you get to bring back treasure and fortune with you. Oh, that's so cool! And... You have to keep at it, working hard and overcoming difficulties until you finally achieve your dreams. For example... For example, this secret map. Armaldo handed a buff the secret map. Open it up and have a look. That's sweet. They actually have an animation for it. That's cool. It could have just been a singular sprite, but no, they actually show him unfurling it. This seems to be a map that indicates the location of some treasures. Study it closely. It doesn't really make sense, does it? If I don't figure out how the cipher, then I'll never be able to uncover the location of the treasure. But you're just a kid. You wouldn't know anything about this. I've been working on this one for a long time. And I haven't been able to figure it out yet. Eggway Buff is just going to be like, Oh, but this is over here. However... I'm not giving up. I can't. <laughs> I know that if I can overcome this challenge, there'll be a future. That's the adventure of exploration. It's a thrill. It's essence. It's never-ending attraction. Hey! <laughs> burned it. Burned it. Hey, Junior. What are you doing? Knock it off. <laughs> water! Water! Oh yeah, water gun! And he destroyed it. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, my... My precious secret map. It's... It's charred. Look! What? Underneath the charred parts, you can see something. If you brush away the charred parts, can you see anything special? Igglybuff brushed away the charred parts of the map. They actually have a little animation for that, too. It's like a little dance. Wh what? Right here. Isn't there something written here? Right written. Eastern cave. Eastern cave? Really? Is it true there's treasure there? Yep, I knew it. <laughs> that is, how did you know? How'd you figure out this map's secrets? 
when I looked at the map, I saw it was really thick, so I figured that there must be two layers to it. But I didn't think there was any other way to peel off the top layer, so I thought I'd burn it off. Just, I feel like you leapt across a few, like, a few possibilities there, but still. This kid. I've been working on that puzzle for so long, and he solved it just like that. That is, this kid. Just like that. Hey, if you go to this eastern cave, would you find treasure there? Please take me with you. I want to go and see. But I'm, I'm a retired explorer. I can't just jump back in. Huh? But you don't have... But don't you like exploring? I mean, earlier it sounded like you really enjoyed talking about it. Although I gotta learn how to draw, like, angry eyes. Because, you know, violent seeds. Yep. There's, all, there's many different ways of drawing, like, expressions. It can come in many different forms. Indeed. Shape and just, like, detailings to the eyes. And plus, like, eyebrows and mouth also really affect the overall expression and intended emotion. Expressions are hard. And if you're working so hard on the secret of that map, if you don't go, it'll be a waste. That's... it's true that it would be a waste not to go after solving the map's riddle. But I'm hesitant to leave here. Maybe I wouldn't attract too much attention with a little trip to Eastern Cave. All right? Hey, Junior. You made a good point. We'll go! Really? Yes, really. But it's a little too late to start today. Your mom and dad are probably worried. Today you should go home. Tomorrow, we'll head out. Yep. Thank you. All right. Let's do our best tomorrow. Yeah! And I like that that's kind of where it came from. The next morning. And what, did the Bayonet and Skaroopy just leave him there? Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Mama. Yep, good morning. Good morning, Egglybuff. Again, I like the map, like the upward map there. It's just nice. Are you headed out with friends again today? Yep, I made a new friendly friend. Oh, a new friend. That's great. Yep. Be careful out there today. Don't go anywhere dangerous. Yep, I'll be careful, Mama. He probably doesn't even understand what danger is. Where will you go? Interesting. I actually can choose. That's kind of weird. I might look at the original portraits of Chimchar and Rialu. That's always a good place to start, the original official. Let's go. Should the team go there? I am the team. Okay, I'm off. See you later. Take care. Oh, Igglybuff. Igglybuff, I heard that you went out exploring with the bullies. Was it all right? Yeah, I was fine. Everyone went home in the middle of it. <laughs> Smooches, that's good. We were worried about you. Hey, Igglybuff, let's play together today. Mm, I'm sorry. I've already got plans for today. Plans? Where are you going? Murky Forest. What? Murky Forest? Yep, see you later. I wonder if they're going to tell his parents, it's like, you know, he, he's going to a dangerous place. Hey, Igglybuff, were you okay after that? Yep. I can't believe you got away. I thought maybe you got eaten by that monster. What monster? I don't know what you're talking about. I made a friend. Friend? Yep, a friend. I'm headed out to play with my friend again today. See you. Eggly Buff, just an unrelenting god. Well, this is neat music, too. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, here you are, Junior. Quick, let's go, let's go. No need to be impatient. Before exploring, you have to make sure you're well prepared. Prepared? Yes. Look at this. What? What's this? 
This is called a King of Skun Rock. Here you can make a record of your adventure and sort your items. It's something you shouldn't pass up on in your explorations. I was partly wondering if we were actually gonna <laughs> notice it. Really? Oh, hey! Stop hitting it like that! Anyhow, you can go ahead and use any items you find at Kangaskun Rock as you see fit. So let's use the Kangaskun Rock to finish preparations for our adventure. Yep, got it. Check storage. Let's see. I don't really care about you. I guess I'll keep the insomniscope with me. Scanner or boost critical hit ratios. I guess we can keep that. <coughs> and now we can take things out from this place. Hmm. Actually, I guess I'll take a power band for my myself. Or should I do a stamina band? Hmm. I do like the music here. And we'll take two reviver seeds with us. And hopefully, hope that it's not evil. Or else I'm going to be desperately low on Reviver Seeds when we head back to the main world. Also, I kind of find this amusing that it's kind of like Igglybuff is reaching across time and space to take from the main team. Like, uh, Neon? Didn't we have, like, four Reviver Seeds yesterday? I wonder where they went. Wigglytuff, up in, <laughs> up in the caves. They'll never know. You can use the Kangaskhan rock. Anyway, go ahead and make a record. I did. Once you're done, let's head on out for exploration. Oh, hey, we can come back in here. I like that. Oh, I guess I could also put away the insomniscope since I have a power band. Give to me. Huh? Junior, did you finish getting ready? Yep. Yep. All right. All right, let's go. We're looking for the treasure in Eastern Cave. Got it, Junior. You're just a beginner when it comes to exploring. Don't be so impertinent and don't hold me back. Yep. This is sweet. I also got a random key from the shop for 8,000. Do I know what to use it on? Nope. I know that, like, in, uh, Rescue Team, there are some places where you are required to use keys to get, like, HMs and special evolution items and stuff. So, it could be connected to that, but usually they're just random items on the floor. Not actual things that you buy. So I don't know. And again? I think this is another, like, uh, song from Rescue Team. Harden, Water Gun, Metal Claw, and Protect. But I wonder why he's a retired explorer. Let's beat this guy. Utter annihilation. Get away! Oh, how dare you. I should have kept the insomniscope. Oh, this is very mean. Game! Jesus Christ! That was horrifying. We're just going to stay in this corner and survive a bit. All right, Tangla are bastards. Note to self. I need to be very careful when moving around Tangla. At least we're getting a ton of apples. I wonder if we're gonna find, like, a perfect apple. 
No, I don't want to attack the shopkeep. I don't think we have a Patsy band. What? Increases the Pokemon chances of taking critical hits from enemy moves. Why would you want that? Like, no, seriously. Why would you want that? Is there, like... Can you force bands onto enemies for them to wear so that you can just, like, annihilate them or something? Damn it. Die. Blast him. Never mind. You're gonna harden instead. And now I'm dying. Now I see why you retired. You're bad at your job. I got a heal scarf, which makes healing faster for a uh, faster belly decrease. Interesting. Hmm. You don't need to harden so much. Now look, now you're even. Do -do -do -do. Hello, Diglett. I wonder if one of these Diglets is going to turn out to be the Doug Trio that eventually works at the guild. Jesus Christ. Ooh, a zinc band. That, that went for a lot of money back there. Boost special defense. I don't think I really need that. We're getting lots of items, though. Die. This is neat. And also kind of telling of Iggly Buff and Wiggly Tuff's personality. He just always has been this way. Although that makes me wonder what he did to Team Skull. How dare you. Motherfucker. Oh, we leveled up finally. Yay! I leveled up! And he got a lot of health for it too. You're on the stairs, asshole. You dick. Why do you have that as a move? Like, at all. Why would you do that? That just seems like a mean thing to do. Well, at least you did a good there. Your strategy finally won out, even if you only protected yourself. Hopefully we stop running into Diglett soon. I feel like I should have had a greater reaction to the magnitude, but it's just like, what? How can you Diggly do that? What did you hell? Also, those guys are giving, like, pitiful experience, and yet they're able to sleep me to death. Should probably do more defense curls. By doing sit-ups, I can become a god of defense. Aha, you fool. Armaldo, you can stop that. This is Miss Central, isn't it? Hello, and welcome to Miss Central, where everybody misses everything. I thought that guy was a bug type. Why did water absolutely annihilate him? You see, I don't I don't understand typing in this game very well, because I'm an idiot. I 
look at a Pokemon, and I don't understand that typing. Well, at least if we run into a monster house, we have a faux fear orb. That is something. We have a bit of defense against the evils of the world. Oh, son of a bitch. Every single time I see a Diglett now, I'm just going to be, like, utterly horrified. Water does neutral damage to Bug. Yeah, that's why I was surprised, because that whatever the hell it was got utterly annihilated, super affected by water. Why is there a, why is there a Magikarp here? What? Sure, as I was saying, because I'm fairly certain that that little Bug guy, if we run into him again, I'll point him out and say his name. But, like... He looked like a bug, kind of like a cicada. Got super affected by water gun. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> why would evolution do this? I mean, if you think about it, I guess bugs don't really do good against water in general, but they're not, like, super affected in these games. <laughs> Pokemon doesn't really do logic anyway. That's not attack. Why? Why do you? Have, why tickle? I guess it makes sense. You have like tentacle whiskers, with which to tickle. But still, why? Hello, Magikarp. Why are you here? Why is there so many Magikarp in here? We're gonna run into like a Gyarados to mock us, isn't it? Oh, it's you, you there. Ninkada. Yep, there it is again. Did lots of damage. I wonder why. The science. The science doesn't really make sense. How dare you constrict the poor baby. I wonder how much of the backstory of... Motherfucker. Now I'm all alone. I'm but a poor Iggly buff, far from home. At least partially now we understand why Wigglytuff is such a good explorer. He had to deal with all this when he was a child. It's part ground type. Ah. Doesn't look it, but <laughs> looks can be deceiving in this universe. What the heck? Well, fine then. The game has told me to fuck off, so I will. I take, like, one step, I get teleported directly next to the stairs. I'll take the hint, game. I will take the hint. <laughs> Again, what's with all the Magikarp? It's just weird. I need to do my defense curls, or else I will die. And we don't want Iggly Buff to die. That'll cause, like, a... A parad... How dare you. What is of all these traps here? There's so many traps here, here to kill me. I want a power band. Iglybuff. He wants to start a metal band. He shall go on to create the Blind Guardian. Which is a great band. I highly recommend them. They've been around for, like, forever. They make, like, entire albums based off of, like... Bubba Bow. Like, uh, fantasy stories, like... Lord of the Rings, uh, Wheel of Time, just lots of things. And their music is very, very good. They, like, made an entire song based off of the Trojan War. It's, like, 11 minutes long. And it is fantastic. Get cute charmed, idiot. Imagine you're just like a wild Pokemon. 
you attack a random like child and you're like I'm now infatuated with this child. It it has it harbors b- b- poor implications. We've come pretty far. The treasure. I wonder where it is. Oh, can you see that light over there? Let's go check it out. Puzzle time. Whoa! Amazing. Wh- what's this? Well, it looks like a, a puzzle. Wow, this is so amazing. There's a door on the front here. I think the treasure's past that door, don't you think? Hurry, let's go, let's go. Wait, Junior. What? Didn't you notice the design of the room? Look carefully. There's some kind of trick to it. Trick? Yes. I'm pretty sure that... That there will be a treasure behind that door, but the trouble is we need to figure out how to open that door. <laughs> At least you weren't me and Apollo falling down a fall trap and <laughs> remaking the opening scene to Undertale. <laughs> Never thought about it, but baby Pokemon can use a track on full evolves. This bodes poorly. It is extra amusing because, like, if it were any other Pokemon, it would be like, oh, you know, even though it's like a first evolution, you know, you can start breeding this level one Charmander that recently hatched with its mother, and there's nothing the game says about it, even all these years later. <laughs> but then, then you got the baby Pokemon, which are explicitly not a part of any egg group. The implications. The trouble is, we need to figure out how to open that door. Look above the door. You see that symbol that kind of looks like an eye? Yeah, we need to be like Link and shoot it with an arrow. I think if we put some kind of rock or something in there, something will probably happen. But then there's also those giant logs on both sides. And all these little openings in the floor have caught my attention. That pillar over there, a weird switch along the groove. If we move that pillar along that track on top of the switch on the floor, something's gonna happen. That's, this is a pretty common layout. This kind of trap is usually easy to identify, and these spikes here on the wall, look at them, they've definitely caught my attention. What's this crystal? What's this crystal here? If you hit this crystal, something's gonna happen. The crystal's color will probably change and something will come up from the floor or something. <laughs> it's like there's so many goddamn puzzles in this universe, Eggly Buff. Just destroy them all. <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. I don't even know which words they were. And I think that's how it works. And this. It looks like this contraption is important somehow. It's pretty suspicious to find such a puzzle thing, puzzling thing in a place like this. The more I think about it, the more it seems like someone has gone to an awful lot of trouble to keep people out. It takes a trained eye to spy out all these ingenious devices. I see. So we should go around and try everything. No! That might prevent the door from ever opening. There are traps, too. Is that so? I see. Anyway, this room is full of dangers. We really need to proceed with caution. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda reference. Haha. <laughs> then again, Legend of Zelda is kind of the archetypical 3D exploration fantasy puzzler to a degree. It's what comes to mind for a lot of people. Yep, got it. Yay. Uh, uh, what? You've... <laughs> He just busts down the door. I did it. I opened it. What the? Hurry, let's go. What in the world is this kid? You'd think that he was the human brought to this world. Because it's just... Unbelievable, ain't it? We should have sent Wigglytuff to save the world and rescue team. Hey, hurry. Got it. Why don't the voices from beyond the universe just, like, call to people like Egglybuff? It'd be like, hey, kid, you want to have an adventure? Boy, would I! <laughs> Using 1% of his power, exactly. 
Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Oh, hey, open it and see. Hurry, hurry. Armaldo opens the treasure chest. That was a smooth animation. Inside was the Defend Globe. This is... Wow, so cool. What is it? This is a Defend Globe. A Defend Globe? Yay, yay! Oh, it's very valuable. It's a very hard-to-find item. It's an exclusive item for Bug-type Pokémon. Hey! Are you listening to what I'm saying? It's all right, I heard you. I don't really understand, but it's really cool. We did it! <laughs> what is this? He's so happy. He doesn't even know the value of this item, but he's just so ridiculously happy. He's a simple-minded fool who enjoys things. He'll, d he'll bash on through the mightiest of dungeons and be like, oh, there was a treasure at the end, and that would just make him happy. If it was but a single piece of pokey, he probably would be. <laughs> it's fake. It isn't flat. <laughs> I just wanted to reread make sure. We did it! We did it! Yay! Yay! Hmm. He showed a powerful intuition in getting that door open earlier. You know, annihilating it. <laughs> this kid is... Yay, yay! <laughs> this kid... I don't really get his personality. He radiates an unknown, unfathomable quality. I'm guessing... This kid has an amazing natural talent or something. For explorers, this is an unbelievable advantage. Hey, exploring is so much fun! I had no idea! Oh, yeah! Master! M master Me? Yep, that's right. The Exploration Master. Master, I have a request. Please, please take me on as your apprentice. M my apprentice? But no, I'll pass. I don't really see myself taking care of someone else as an apprentice. And besides, I quit exploring. It's too late for me to go do anything like that. But today you came out on this exploration, didn't you? You did, didn't you, Master? Uh... This is the first time I've had so much fun. It's like I've changed somehow. I want to keep exploring. That is, I'd like to keep exploring. Please, take me on as your apprentice, Master. Master, please. Um... Wow, he's even kneeling on the floor. Iglybuff has knees? How? He's sure intent on this request. However, he's so round. <laughs> it's hard to tell if he... Okay, exactly! How dare you lie to me, game! <laughs> However, he's so round. It's hard to tell if he's really kneeling on the floor or not. But what should I do? It would be extremely risky if I were to start exploring as part of a team again. But this kid has so much potential, it's amazing. I'd love to see just how far this kid could go as an explorer. Being together is a little annoying, but I have another feeling as well. It's really caught my attention. I think I could start exploring again as long as it was with him. All right. I've got it. You can be my apprentice. Really? But my training is very strict. If you won't go along with me, then we're through. Yay, I did it! Thank you! Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> and so, Master recognized me as Apprentice, and he returned to being an explorer. And so Master and I went on explorations together. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm looking forward to you taking care of me, Master. Taking care of you. Hey, wait! The way you're acting, I don't know if you'll be doing we'll be doing anything together. Don't be so strict, Master. How <laughs> oh, we gotta be an exploration team if you start off acting like that? Hey! <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I've had so much fun since Master took me on as an apprentice. Okay, I'm off! 
see you. Take care. I would head off to Master's house soon after I got up every morning. We would open the map and look for a place to explore. Hey, Master, let's explore this place today. This place labeled the end of the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, if you're going to go explore the end of the world, remember to, to have, like, some, some hydration there. Come on, there's no way we could go to such a place. <laughs> that conversation at the end. It kind of feels like me when I was very young, sweet and full of energy. <laughs> I don't know how I was when I was a child. It's hard to, like, reflect on things for me. We decided where to go together like two old friends. And then head out exploring right away. Wow, treasure, treasure! Don't be so happy-go-lucky. There might be a trap. Ah! Master! 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 <laughs> Jumps on in. Oh, it's all right. I can rescue him later. <laughs> <laughs> I can rescue him later. Master and I made a great team and we found a bunch of treasure. Just like that, we went on one successful exploration after another. But what about your old friends? Then, a few months later. What the hell? Wow, amazing! There's so much treasure, Master! Alright, let's take it all back with us. Alright! This feels like an endgame dungeon with so much treasure. He's really something, this kid. We've been exploring together for a while. I've never seen anyone with a natural sense for exploring like he has. I'm sure. I'm sure that this kid is some kind of exploration prodigy. Master, what are you doing? Hurry, hurry! Uh, yeah, I'm on my way. We found a lot today, didn't we? <laughs> success, success! Hey, Master, where are we going to explore tomorrow? What, what? We just finished today's exploration and already you're talking about tomorrow's? You're getting a little ahead of yourself. That said, I'll bet that tomorrow's location will be even better to us than today's. Really? Yes. Tomorrow, we're going to Fortune Ravine. Rumor has it that there's a lot of treasure there. Amazing! I can't wait! Let's go tomorrow! Definitely! Yeah. Will you be alright getting home from here by yourself? Yep, I'm fine. Alright. See you at my place tomorrow, and when we'll head out for Fortune Ravine. Yep. Bye-bye, Master. See you tomorrow. Phew, same as ever. He's always so cheerful. Cheerful is good, but... Uh, he's so cheerful that it tires me right out. Phew. I should go home. I'm exhausted, but I have to admit, cheerfulness is kind of contagious. Something's got to happen because Igglybuff has his defend globe. And there it is. That Pokemon. That Pokemon was that. The next morning. Good morning, Papa. Mama. Yep, good morning. Good morning, Igglybuff. Always say hi to your parents. I've heard that you've been playing with your new friend lately. It's only been a few mu months, father. Yep, but now he's not just a friendly friend, he's Master Armaldo. Master? When you say master, oh, I think I get it. You mean a friend that you respect a great deal. That's great, Igglybuff. I think you would should probably look into this a bit more, Papa. He's like, kids don't usually call other friends, like, master like that. That you've made a friend like that. Yep. 
Lately, Smoochum has come around asking for you when you're not home. Aren't you playing with Smoochum and the others? Yeah, I'm a bit busy exploring. Exploring? With Bennett? It's dangerous out there, so don't go too far. Yep, got it, Mama. Just gonna immediately ignore that. Where will you go? Armaldo Shelter. Okay, I'm off. See you later. Take care. It's kind of sweet that his other friends continue to like look out for him like, hey, are you okay? Good morning, master. Oh, hi, Junior. Before you got here, I was doing some research on Fortune Ravine. It's a lot harder than any of the dungeons we've visited so far. Even with my strength, it'll probably be difficult. Huh? So we're not doing? Maybe and maybe not. I'm concerned about what to do. Let's go. It'll be fine, I know. Together, Master and I are invincible. It's all right, all right. That's right. No thanks to me, this kid is an exploration prodigy. If I tried to go alone, I couldn't do it. But if he's with me... All right, I agree. Let's go to Fortune Ravine. The master! I knew we were going to go! That's my master! Take care of your exploration preparations at the Kangaskhan Rock. Once you're ready, we'll go. Yep! What tragedy will strike us, though? <laughs> because it has to strike us. Things are evil. Honestly, boss fights as high level as just... I can't beat the shit of you about getting closer. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Trap bus destroys traps. Eh, I'll get rid of it. I'll keep the the fear the faux fear orb, just in case. Ever so slightly in case. So we have a stun seed, an all hit orb, a, a faux fear orb. But I do believe that we'll do good. Oh hey. And also, I think we got boosted up to 48 active items. Oh, well, active items. 48 uh, items in our inventory. But alrighty. Let's a go. Huh? Junior, did you finish getting ready? Yep. Alright. Okay, let's go. To Fortune Ravine. Yep. Although for me, boss fights are usually, I'm going to get next to my partner, activate some stuff, and then they'll fight for me. Fight, and then they'll come to me. Just then, at Iglybuff's house on the prairie. Iglybuff, let's play! Oh, it's Moochum and everyone. Oh, it's Iglybuff's mama! I'm sorry, Iglybuff isn't here today either. You're always inviting him to join you. It's not very nice of him to always be too busy. By the way, Iglybuff's mama. What is it, Smoochum? Is it true that Iglybuff goes to play in Murky Forest every day? What? In Murky Forest? Is that true, Smoochum? We don't really know, but that's what we heard. It looks like his mama doesn't know either. If it's true, I wonder if Iglybuff's okay going to that place to play all the time. Hey, Bennett! Hey, Bennett, have you seen Igglybuff? Igglybuff? Oh, isn't Igglybuff still going to Murky Forest? What? We've seen him go in there several times to be going to that scary place. Honestly, I don't really get him, Igglybuff, I mean. Oh, I just saw him a little while ago. That scary-looking guy deep in the forest. Igglybuff seems to have made friends with him or something. What? I wonder if he's all right. I mean, with that scary guy, I mean. P papa Papa! Can I talk to you for a moment? Let me guess, Nido King. Your conversation. Can you tell me a bit more about it, please? Hey, you. Uh, 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 me? The part where you said there's a scary-looking guy living deep in the forest. What's he look like? He looks like he's got big claws and a shell that looks like armor. 
I don't know, but he just looks really scary, you know? I'll bet it's him. It's gotta be. Um, who are you? My apologies for not introducing myself. I am Nido King. I'm an explorer. An explorer? Yes. I should introduce myself properly. The truth is, I am... And we're not... We're not... So, we don't get the... We don't get to see the story. I guess we're gonna have to hear it from Armaldo. What? Really? We've got a problem. Fortune Ravine. Fortune Ravon. How dare you low kick me? All right, so those guys shouldn't be too scary. I probably should have kept some of the throwables to smite some foes. Ooh, this is some music! I think this is new music, too, not reused from Baba Ba from Rescue Team like the other one were. The other ones were. This is some good music! Quit kicking me! Oh, another faux fear orb! Ha <laughs> ha! This is some. This is a bop. I really like it. Eggly Buff is a god. He's taking no damage. How dare you throw mud at my eyes? <laughs> Game literally went po yo past the ox cord. Mystery Dungeon's music is, like, nine times out of ten just utterly grand. There was one, like, dungeon, I think, in Rescue Team where the theme kind of, like, me a bit, but that's the exception. Usually the music is just utterly divine. Ooh, a defense scarf, eh? And a faux seal orb as well. Rock polish? What does that do? Oh, that's... That's fucking scary! Let's see. What, what am I wearing? I'm wearing a power band. Hmm. Yeah, but honestly, my methodology is... I don't need to... If I if I kill them, then they won't be able to hit me. You know, I've never had a water ally in these games before so, all that much. So being able to have an ally help me from around a corner is kind of foreign. I was looking for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon... Pixel art to frame. Uh, <laughs> oh, shame. There's no HD reprints. Ah, oh, that's true. Offensive or defensive is my thing. Yep. It's utterly grand. But yeah, like the idea of like uh, ba -ba wasted word. Oh Jesus Christ! What is with there being traps all around me? But yeah, like. It would be super cool, like, I don't know, because, like, the portraits are masterfully done as pixel art, but huh, that kind of makes me want to try and, that's a new, like, art project for me, what I need to do. What I need to do is, like, uh, draw some characters of mine using the expressions from, ah, oh, damn it! Using the expressions from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon as like a base, so that way I can just have them as resources. Motherfucker! Traps galore. But yeah, like, yeah, have them as like a resource I can use as well as practice. 
I have my Pokey Sona. My Peculiar Sylveon. Hello, hello, and thank you for the 15 bits. We're currently playing this here game, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, the Expanded Sky Mod ROM hack. It is a very fun time. Highly recommend. Although I still need to report the weird issue I keep running into on purely Mount Bristle. But I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, and again, the fact that I've never played these special episodes before. I'm almost kind of happy that I haven't before. Because that just allows me to experience the special episode. How dare you, Kim? But it allows me to explore. Uh, exploit? My, my brain? The, the trap had destroyed my brain. But yes, it allows me to experience the special episodes for the first time right here, right now. When I'm in a, like, mindset where I feel like I can appreciate the special episodes of this game a lot more than I would have if I played them on my own as a child all those many years ago. It's just a fantastic feeling. Um, there is a cult down there. There's just a bunch of Duskoths going in a circle. What the hell? The sole reason that I want to learn pixel art is a lot of things. Yep. Pixel art feels like it would be specially difficult compared to, like, normal art. But then again, any kind of specialized aspect of art can be in and of itself a difficult thing to learn. I let go of the buttons of failure on my part. And a totter seed. That might come in handy if we want to annihilate some people. Another insomniscope. That's nice to have. How dare you hit me, other child Pokemon. You must die. Now I shall smack you. Damn it. What is with you? Two misses in a row. How dare. What is the most painful damage you can inflict upon me? Damn it. I got zwooted all the way around the universe. And now I got stun sport. Yay. Like making custom Stardew Valley portrait for myself or family members and maybe making the portraits into pins. That would be super cool. Like, art projects like that. That's what I need to do more of. Get some experience in, just do stuff. And yeah, like I said, you get to make them, you get to show them, and then maybe you get to use them for stuff beyond just showing them. I'm gonna throw a diddly D at you. Fuck. What is with all the dodging here? There's too much dodging going on in here. There's too much dodging. Murder him. Murder this here, Hapini. You can stop hardening now. And another Fofir Orb. Boss fight's gonna be. If there's a boss fight, I will find it borderline hilarious if, like, frickin' Egglybuff the Prodigy doesn't get a boss fight. Meanwhile, poor Bidoof, he got two. And one was against a legendary Pokemon that I'm still 90% certain was intentionally trying to hurt him. Because, like, ah, uh, this, stupid, this stupid guy coming into my home... Waking me up, I'm gonna put on the routine of Oh, woodly do, I'm very sleepy Oh no, I might just kill you Because I totally think that's what ha happened Especially considering that I can inflict confusion Upon the supposedly already borderline confused guy 
Ooh, some tension music. Master, where is this? This is a dungeon waypoint. It connects to the depths of Fortune Ravine. It's a waypoint area. I see. So we'll be able to be in the depth soon then. That's right. I'm sure of it. While we're on the subject of waypoints and dungeons, finding a waypoint usually means that if something awaits you at the end. Something awaits? Like what? For example, the boss of this dungeon. Boss? Oh wait, I just kind of realized something. I'm going to guess that faux fear orbs don't work on bosses. I'm just going to assume that. Would be kind of broken if you could just bring in a singular orb and r ruin the entire fight. So I might g give it a shot for the giggles, but we're probably going to be relying on our stun seed. Yes, that's right. If there's a boss in the dungeon, tread carefully. They might misunderstand what you're trying, do what you're doing here, and wonder whether you're trying to take over their territory. They probably won't listen to you what you're saying. You're likely to be attacked often. Hmm, seems like dungeon bosses don't have much patience. I don't know whether or not they have patience. Anyway, we need to brace ourselves for what we'll find from here on in. Yes, Master. Happy, happy. I still wonder what exactly... Dear Armaldo's deal is. We're almost there. Let's keep going, but remain cautious. Because he obviously has a past. So I wonder what that past is. Is he actually a bandit? But it seems like our boy Igglybuff is a... Or, our, our, well, even in the future, Wigglytuff seems to be fond of his memories. So who knows? Then again, it could be a situation of Wigglytuff really getting through to a troubled individual and that's kind of why he's like friendly even to like Team Skull and stuff because like oh maybe they can change and then if they uh, do anything right in front of him he'll annihilate them but it seems he's trying to move on yeah we don't know specifically what this guy's deal is because he said specifically that he was a retired explorer, so... Entirely possible that he actually... did... like... ba ba ba. Used to do exploring, but obviously then did something that... quote-unquote made him retire. Just have to see what his dealio be. Get smacked, idiot. Give me that. And yeah, this is some tension music. Ah, uh, not the executor. Level up for the boy. Leveled up. Straight to the point, aren't you? wonder what will happen. What will it be? I'll throw a spike at you, and then I'll kill you. You know, for a fully leveled up uh, evolution monster, you're quite weak. Then again, it could just be that Igly Buff is a god. Oh, you bastard! How dare you? As always, at least one defense curl. Then again, again, it's also possible that Nido King could be framing the guy. So technically he is retired, but that's more because he's been forced out of the life more than he did something that took him out of the life. Well, we don't know. Jerk. Okay, 
and you get to come closer, and then we'll smack you some. This is danger zone area. Lots of enemies. Another defense scarf. I wonder if, like, the increase in good treasure is meant to parallel the fact that Igglybuff is a prodigy and he's here looking for a bunch of treasure just because he can. How dare you? Die. And a level up for the boy. Yay, I leveled up! And now he becomes stronger. Ah, <laughs> he leveled up so much he can now tell Armaldo where to go, go. Although it is kind of brutal that we are stabbing a bunch of Pokemon with iron thorns, just spikes. We are stabbing people with Pokemon throwing knives. Well, damn it. You're doing one damage if you hit. You are a fool. I wonder if Igglybuff will have to fight his friends. Probably not. They're all kids. God damn it. And he's gonna move on without me. Doing lots of murders. Why is it always the warp pads? If Igglybuff's parents, I would be concerned, but also impressed, because if the kiddo has been down the forest for months, he's most likely fine. <laughs> yeah, you'd you think that they be like, wait a minute, he hasn't been playing, because, yeah, because the narration specifically said months. Like, even if it was just weeks, I feel like it would be very impressive that they're, like, worried now. This is... This seems to be the deepest part of the dungeon. Make sure you're prepared. You don't know what awaits you ahead. Oh, there's a door over there! Torches are burning all around. Master, is there some kind of trick to opening the door here, too? You've really learned a lot, Junior. That's right. These torches must provide the solution to the puzzle of opening the door. Furthermore, this is a very common type of puzzle. What should we do? It's simple. If we blow out all the torches, the door will open. Watch! Here goes! Water gum! And then it actually summons a bunch of monsters. Alright! The door should open now! Huh? Master, the door isn't opening! Why... why not? Wah! Of course this would happen. Ow, ow, ow! My back hurts. Master, are you okay? Yeah. How are you, Junior? I'm okay. Oh, for pity's sake, we seem to have fallen into a pit. P pit Is that what this is? This hole? Hey, Master. What is it? Those torches. It seems like they weren't there to open the door. Truth is, they were there to open the pit. It was kind of some kind of trap. Trap? But if this is really is a trap, it's so dark I can't see a thing. Truth is, we seem to have landed ourselves in a difficult position. Oh, hey, a, a growl similar to yours. Za, za, za. Hey, I can hear something. It seems like something's getting closer. You, how can you stay so calm? I'm not calm. I'm incredibly excited. It's a monster house! They're here! Let's do our best, Master. Don't we always? Don't ever let yourself get caught unprepared, Junior! Alright, um... Well, I guess I shall try Fofir Orb. Nope, Mysterious Power prevented their use. It's what I thought. Oh hey, these guys are actually really weak. I could 
probably just annihilate them. Alright, I shall annihilate you. Oh, damn it, he's not annihilated. Please die. And we have a decent amount of reviver seeds left. But I also have some orange berries, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat one. Nom nom. This is the easiest monster house ever to exist. Yeah, we should probably take this guy out, since he's super duper duper. Levitated. Good for you. We win! Phew. We just barely beat them. We just used one Orenberry. I can see some kind of light over there. Isn't that the hole we came from? Or is that meant to be the wall? Let's go check it out. Ooh, pretty. Wow. Hey, Master, this is outside. It looks like once you leave the ravine, it connects to this place. Among the rocks and stones, I can see some crumbled pillars and what looks like a stone wall. Don't tell me that this is Hadrian's wall. Oh, Master! Look over there! Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh, I love it! It's so good! I can see some kind of ruins off in the distance. I knew it. This is an ancient city that's been buried by time, I believe. That's why it's out here in the open. Hey, Master! I bet there's a bunch of treasure over there! Hurry, let's go! So excited! Oh. Wait! I finally found you. Armaldo! My name is Nido King. I'm an explorer. What? What did you say? Oh, Papa, Mama, and everyone! Are you alright, Tickly Buff? You're not hurt. I'm fine, Mama. Why? Friends, friends, what's with everyone? Higglypuff, listen carefully. Over there, the Pokemon next to you, Higglypuff, is an outlaw. What? An outlaw? A bad guy. That's what that Pokemon is. Master is a bad guy? That's right. This guy, Armaldo, is a Pokemon we've been chasing for a while. In order to catch Armaldo, I came here. Zzz. Nido King is telling the truth. Armaldo is a B-rank outlaw. We've been searching the entire region for him. As soon as we heard from Nido King, we came running. That... So, let the kid go, Armaldo. It's a lie. It can't be true. Kid, it's all right. To drag a kid into this, you're the lowest. No! I asked him, and Master isn't a bad Pokemon. All right, let's finish this. Stop, please. Listen to me. Are you going to yumta them away? Hurry up, move it. Ooh. Whoa! What? What is this? You... You... The ground! Is it shaking? Or is this super ne metronome? La 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 la! You! Wait! Stop it, Junior! Huh? I'm asking you! Stop, please! Master... If you blast Nido King and Magnazone, you'll become a bad guy too, and then what will you do? So please, stop now! But Master isn't a bad Pokemon. I've been with you this long, I know that. Officer Magnazone. Yes? Could you give me a minute? It's all right. I won't try to run. Understood. I'm sorry, Junior. Just like Nido King said, I'm an outlaw. I'm a bad guy. That... 
It's not true! Listen, Junior. I'm an outlaw and they were searching the entire region for me. To avoid getting caught, I've just been running. Running, running. And I took a break in Murky Forest. I started that rumor about Murky Forest. The rumor that a monster lurked deep in the darkness. Because of that, nobody came out there. So I thought I wouldn't get caught. That's how I took shelter there. I meant to tell you the truth much sooner. But I just couldn't bring myself to. I'm sorry. Master. Anyway, I am a bad guy, but you're different. So you, you can't be with me. But haven't we had so much fun together? I thought we were going to teach me even more as we kept on exploring. If Master disappears, so what will I do? Junior, did you enjoy exploring? Yeah. So, became an amazing explorer someday. For me. Don't be a blockhead like me. You've got a gift for exploring. So you should do your best to be an amazing explorer for me. Master. It's about time. D don't go. Junior. I really enjoyed exploring with you these past few days. It's been months! I knew there was a danger of being caught like this, but... Despite that risk, we went on explorations. And when you were with me, I had a lot of fun. This is the first time I ever really enjoyed exploring. And you're the one who's shown me how much fun it can be. Thank you very much. Ooh, Master. Don't... I don't want you to go. Junior, try to understand. I have to answer for the things I've done. But when I've finished, then if I still feel the same way, I'll become an explorer. I don't know when that will be. But when that day comes, when that day comes, I'd like to go exploring with you again. It's... it's a promise. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Master! Master! Take this! Be seeing you. Master! <laughs> The last thing Master gave me was the thing we found on the first exploration Master and I went on, a Defend Globe. I see. The story of your exploration goes back all the way back to your childhood. Yes, that's why this Defend Globe is my starting point. And Guildmaster, your master. After that, what happened to him? Oh, many things happened to him. After all, he is my only master. We'll save those stories for another time. I'm too tired for more today. You know, whenever I look at this Defend Globe, I think of him. It's my starting point in becoming in my, an explorer. And, of course... There are lots of outlaws in this world. They are caught and punished, but... But... Truly bad Pokémon... Don't really exist anywhere. That... Was ungodly sweet. Absolutely. I actually teared up there for a moment. The only thing kept me going... <laughs> was the voice acting that I had to do. Whoa. That was really, really good. It's so very simple. You just have, like, the basic building blocks of a character you already kind of know. And, like, this other character that they just introduced. But it did such a good job of, like, the music and the atmosphere and everything. And also the fact that, like... 
It was true. He was an outlaw. <laughs> no game, don't make me cry again. Exactly. And this was just an hour and a half special episode. Like, hour and a half to two hour special episode. Jesus. Oh. I, again, I really like that they went in to, like, kind of explore the Yumta. I really do enjoy that they basically went all in and be like, and in a way, kind of went all in to explain, no, 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 this actually is the same Wigglytuff from Rescue Team, even if only in minor ways. Like, again, the Yumta, the fact that he's a project at exploring, and also kind of implying that he's had tons and tons and tons of adventures, and even implying that Armaldo has paid his debt and went on adventures with him in the past. That's neat. Fleshed out the characters. Yeah. Sure, it's only like in very kind of simple ways, and only for a little bit because they still have to allow you to play the game some. But it is very well done in how they handled the characters here. Because all you need is good characters, even if they're simple. Simple characters handled well can do a lot of good, can do wonders. Oddly enough, I'd say, like... <laughs> and again, I find it hilarious that Bidoof suffered so much more than Igglybuff. Because Igglybuff is the prodigy. Which makes the world building more wholesome. Exactly. I also like that even though they called Baynette and Scroopy bullies, they kind of weren't. Sure, they ran away when Igglybuff was standing in front of a monster and didn't tell anyone. But... The storage is so full, so your items charge time back cannot be stored. To do this, please discard some of your items. Hmm. I guess... Let's see. I delete some items in storage. But yeah, that's just... I like it. I like it. We'll get rid of this one Geopebble. And this one Gravel Rock. This one Grimy Food. Well, actually, we'll keep it just so we can do some experimenting with it. Experimenting? Experimenting. Words. Use your words, you stupid bitch. But yeah, just how they did it was so well done. Just so well done. And this is why I love these games. Because it kind of takes the, like, main aspect of things. Like, of Pokemon. I'm, not, I'm never really going to use the spikes. I'm going to have to rearrange things. Blast seed, blast seed, because I'm not really using them. And we have boxes in there. We're going to have to take them out. Obscure's vision. I shall zap that. Yes. And we still need more. Damn it. To throw away so many things. Oh, I guess we can just... Yep. Fix it up right there. Hmm. I guess we can get rid of a P.E.K.K.A. Scarf, a Stamina. I don't want to. But I probably should. I should probably, like, sell the sticks, iron thorns and stuff, because I'm never going to use them. <laughs> yep, just children being children. With the bullies, Bayonet and Scroopy. Oh, yeah, because I got distracted by everything, but I do like how they handled them. Because, yes, they are kind of a bit mean, but they're not terrible. Like, they don't go overboard all that much. Pure Seeds might be nice <laughs> as, like, an emergency get out a bit. Should keep that in mind. But it's just nice how they handled it, how they u did everything. It's just super nice. Super, super nice. Oh, don't want to do that. 
It's just a bunch of uh, faux orbs. Only like, I think. Please discard some items. I thought I had enough room in there. Which it should have actually, but oh well. Place items in storage. Definitely all these apples. We need all these apples. Stone seed, reviver seed. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. They just. I love how they did it. It's just so well done. Definitely gonna have to manage my inventory back in the main timeline. Yes. There we go. And like again, how they used music from like and also like I gotta say the title screen art is also really, really nice. It's just super good. I love it. I just love this game. It definitely feels like... It feels more robust a lot more than Bibbidi Ba Rescue Team was, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Welcome to Krogunk Swap Shop. Let's see. Mag B, Rescue Rock, Protect Mask. Yeah, because I think we already looked at that. I forget what our plan is. I think, yeah, I think it's... Because last time we ended off with the boy, Dusk Noir, heading off to lure other boy, Grovile, into a trap, and so we're supposed to just take things as normal and not get in the way. Missing Pokemon. Search for Diddly D. We'll take that. One thing I notice of my personality, it's mostly a sense of justice. Don't know about my personality. Again, I'm bad at, like, self-analyzing. Because I am a fool. First, gonna save, yep. Well, actually, I guess I can go in and do some recycling, because, again, I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, I... I guess you're gonna give me an outlaw to chase. I don't want that. I already have a full thing. Oh, Recycling Project P has made a new discovery. Huzzah! This time, treasure was discovered, offering higher grade of recycled items. Yeah, I'm just w uh, wondering how to show that in the comic. Hmm. There are many different, like, tropey, stereotypical ways, and, like, <laughs> affectionate ways to do that. Like, <laughs> since it's like a uh, chimchar, could be a hot-headed, yeah, I'm gonna do it for justice, and kind of get in over your head kind of way. And we can give him grimy food. I wonder if that'll come back to bite me. They'd be like, oh, you give us grimy food? Perish. <laughs> Sink. I wish I could just, like, do a massive one and, like, you can redeem now five tickets. Uh, red. Right, red! Let's see. Oh, it's a win. It's a win! Normal win. Wow, that's wonderful. That's a great... Take your prize. Roost. Neither of us are birds. Are you mocking us? All right, what things shall we do? Ooh, I, I need to grab that black gummy. Mm -mm -mm, to do things. You're gonna have this revisor seat. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not a moron. I'm not a meringue. You utter fool. Do 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 do. I really do enjoy the music. I will recycle these six items to murder God. Blue! Will we get a red-blue-yellow combo streak? Nope, it's a loss. 
I'm a failure. Hot-headed seems like a nice idea. Might notepad that down. Yep. It could be... Yeah, like, uh... With it comes... When it comes to, like... Typical, quote-unquote. When you think of... Uh... Furious for justice type characters. It could be like a Knight Templar. They get blinded by their want for justice and go rushing in blindly. Could be, uh, like kind of wrathful in a way in which if they perceive somebody to being like in the wrong they might really go in on them and hold a grudge against them for a long time could also be like uh somebody who really really is protective of their friends and if they see others mistreating their friend d gets very very angry or at the very least like, not always angry, but, like, wanting to step in and correct the injustice that they are perceiving. It's a very com- writing is complicated. Or it could be, uh, for a kind of hopeful personality, yeah, justice isn't cruel, it's blind kind of way. That's also true. <laughs> Trick room, interesting. Yeah, because there's just many, many different ways to portray, like, a justice- seeking character. So it could be a character trying to seek their own justice. Let's see, what other kinds of ways? I just think that hot-headed justice works well considering that your character is a chimcha. If that grovile doesn't get caught soon, this old lady won't sleep easy. And what about your child? Because you do have a child with you, right? Or do, is your child just there. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, heal ribbon. I forgot I had that. Do, 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 do. I guess we'll take all these gummies with us to properly do things. Do, 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 do. Well, I want to see. Do we have any boxes in there? Nope, just box. Oh, wait, nope. There are some boxes. I wonder what they're doing in there. I gotta open them. Jesus Christ. I definitely need to do more recycling. Or selling. Let's see. Um, iron, silver, stick. We're gonna be selling these. Maybe take a few more gummies with us. Purple, sky, and fairy, why not? And yeah, we're just... Hmm. Because of some of these, I don't think, like, we're going to... Kind of mean that we can't look... Oh, oh it's because we, we've already selected a lot of things, so we can't check the info. I'm a fool! That will be it. Hello, Zatu. Oh, we have one purpose. One. One must serve that purpose the best they can. <laughs> I missed his entire thing. I have lots of boxes, please. There, quick, quick. <laughs> and so, it is revealed within the boxes were a power band, a jiggly song, an elegate claw, a vulpix tail, a teddy claw. Kind of annoying that I can get a power band in there. Kind of disturbing that I can find a Vulpix tail in there. But sure, I guess. Like, not really sure, although I can, I could make like a part where I'm explaining to a young Pokemon that even if you do the right thing, you can still get in trouble. But I'm not a creative writer, so. Yeah, that's the thing about writing, you gotta write down a bunch of ideas. So that you can then pick and choose, iterate, and envision different ways to make that other writing work. Difficult sometimes, but it can be satisfying. Ah, yes, it was very surprising to say the least. The Great Dusk Noir is a Pokemon from the future, imagine that.
the team. What do you have to sell? I'm gonna buy another Reviver Seed because I'm paranoid. All right, we're gonna do some more gummit drinking and then more recycling, I guess. Do you have anything to say about it? It'd be good. To, it'd be good to see that Grove Owl cot soon. <laughs> That's all he has to say. So the Great Dustmore and the Grove Isle were both from the future. Well, that's a stunner. I'm amazed, I tell you. He's trying to paralyze the planet by stealing time gears, isn't he? What a terrible thing to do, that Grove Isle's horrid. I've been spreading that rumor the best I could, yep, yep. I'll be sure to bounce around and spread the rumor. I hope it helps lure Grove Isle to Crystal Cave. Startling, isn't it? Visitations of Pokemon from a distant future. And store. Be like. Could also be like. Maybe your Chimchar needs to explain to your partner Pokemon your vision of justice. Like early on in there. Adventures could also be. Depending on, like, the overall vibes you want to go for with your characters. Because there's just many different ways you can go for it. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Especially with, like, this here mystery dungeon. You can go many, 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 many different ways on how you want to interpret or change and just go in general. The possibilities are endless. A light, rich flavor that almost just melts in your mouth. I do like that the... I do like that you just get a decent stat boost each time. Even if it's only one. One stat boost is very, very good. It's just very nice. It makes you strong. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. Again, how do you guys stay open? You guys only have... Like, you don't even take money. You just take ingredients. Although I kind of see Apollo o and I as goofballs because I still mess around from time to time. That's true. I've got a good feeling about this drink. Aha! Various flavors don't clash. Instead, they blend together in a beautiful harmony. Huh? What? IQ increased too. And he hasn't learned anything in a while. Do I have other gummies still? Yeah, I still have other gummies. Like, another way you could do your character is maybe, like, they, your Chimchar has a fiery distaste for, like, not malpractice of justice, but, like, something like that. Like, when justice is cruel, your character gets all fiery and, like, ah, how dare you, that's not what justice is supposed to be. But otherwise, is very hopeful and kind kind of justice. <laughs> the RNG. It blesses me. Ooh, another one! Haha, the purple gummy soda is here for me. The delicious flavor overwhelms your senses and delights your digestive system. And it's always for the boy. I don't think that, that Zoro or Neon has gotten an RNG in a while. Granted, I think Sh uh, Silas needs... All the help he can get in terms of IQ. <laughs> Moderately sweet to the natural flavor comes bursting forth. I do believe that that is all the gummies that we have brought with us, so thank you very much, Spender. I do need to uh, do more recycling. I need to clear out my, my diddly D. Yeah. Silver ticket, please. I guess I don't need stamina bands all that much. I like to keep a few things with me, though. I guess get rid of Hunger Seed. Hmm. What's a Via Seed? I can't check because I have multi-selected. Yay! Yay! I 
don't want to get rid of too many max elixirs, though. Let's see, I already have a diddly dee. I don't really care to sell these because I don't really need money. I don't think. Hmm. All hit orb, all mock orb, decoy orb. I don't think I have much use for decoy orbs because all they do is turn an enemy into a thing. Let's do red. We'll find him on Mount Silver again. We'll beat him. And we lost. Man, this ticket RNG. <laughs> another Max Elixir. Kind of amusing if you gave him a bunch of Max Elixirs and then they gave you another one back. He was just like, you know, I was trying to get rid of these. You know, we don't care. <laughs> this is the recycle shop, bitch. All right, well, off we go to Waterfall. No, not Delete. Waterfall Cave. Let's see, is there anything? Please find this precious mastermind, so fight. Oh yeah, let's see. Um, reviver, reviver. Let me zinc. We need to go grab some things to deal with outlaws. We need some stun seeds. I'm a fool. Basically, VS seeds lower attacks to minimum. Ah, that's one way to deal with jerks. Oh, what do you have to say about them? Yo, I'm out and about spreading the rumor for you. About how Azelf and his friends are sealing away the time gear. You're getting my best effort. He's basically the town, like, shouter. Are you going to be spreading the rumor to the sea? Oh, sea, hear us. Our journey has been delayed and our effort to capture Grovile has been postponed. In all truth, postponed isn't the right word for the latter. The great Dusk Noir will handle the capture himself. It's a little difficult, but understand us, oh, sea. Let's see, seeds, seeds, seeds. Do we have any seeds? We have some stun seeds. We'll take two stun seeds with us. Thank you, Miss Kangaskhan. What about these guys? He must have been a nasty piece of work in the future too, eh? That Grovile. That Grovile needs to be caught, and fast. I can't sleep at night from all the worrying this is causing. We heard. Yes, we heard why Grovile was stealing the time gears in the first place. But you weren't summoned. How should you know? We must eliminate them. They know too much. Now I'm wondering if they're, like, a mystery dungeon game. But there isn't any, like, world-threatening things going on. You are just either a normal Pokemon or a poor schmuck who fell through the dimensional layers. You make a friend with a Pokemon, you make a team, and you just, like, it kind of dungeon adventure slice of life. I think that would be neat. There are so many dungeons now. Which could be counterintuitive to what I like, which is gathering multiple of a single dungeon and then doing that single dungeon with multiple things. Oh yeah, isn't that another thing I think I remember reading where in one of the games, like future games, they make it so you can only take one mission at a time? Which is a little weird if you ask me. <gasps> it's another box! Sorry, Polywag, I don't care. Box. You gave me box. Although I guess I could have, like, accepted him into the fold because he did give us a box, but oh well. I'm not a recruiter. It's only me and my friend Silas. <laughs> now I'm just imagining, like... In universe, Silas is like, so hey, why don't we bring anybody else along with us? Because, you know, strength and numbers, they could use some, like, strengthening up, and then, like, Zora Neon is just like, clingy, is just like, no, Silas is my teammate, mine. <laughs> Not anybody else's. I think that's all the items, so we're just gonna blow this popsicle stand.
Although it could go from being clingy to actually being something sweet. It's just like, I like to, I like having these moments with you amid the danger. Could also go along with Zoro and Neon being a Zorua, in which they're like, oh, but I feel like I have to, like, ever so slightly pretend who I am in front of other members of the team. Sorry, Tangela, we don't want you. Quit quick attacking, my friend. Die. Quit? Why do you have so many multi, like, dibbity dis rich, re reach moves? I should probably take that off. You don't need to, like, res like, do those moves here. Get restricted. God damn it. We move along here in hell. Hello, Whooper. You missed your water gun. Now die. You did hit your mud shot, though. How dare you? You know how long it'll take to wash this mud out of my fur? You'll die for that. Ooh, six items on this floor. Oh, and it's a destination floor. Die. I haven't even been need I haven't even been needing to use my stab move. Again, I like the waterfall music. That's nice. Oh hey! Oh darn it. It's an orange gummy for somebody else, not an orange gummy for the Silas. But how else is Silas supposed to grow up big and strong? I wonder. I'm not gonna do it, but I wanna know. Can we? We can eat the <laughs> the item we've been paid. Well, we haven't even been paid. We are being promised that we will be paid if we do this. So technically we wanted, we could just abscond with somebody's property. But only if we, like, eat it or use it in the dungeon. <laughs> That amuses me. Oh, hey, you're a pincer, right? Wanted outlaw, spotted. Well, all right. Get stun seated, bitch. Fuck. And you missed. I'm still gonna stun seed you. You think I don't have this many stun seats? Stun seats for days. Pursuit. And that was, like, not even one turn. The RNG hates me when it comes to stun seeds. Get rocked, idiot. Whooper wants to join. No. Again. This is Team Lost Light's special time. Amid minor danger, we get to hang out in the privacy amongst all the wild Pokemon. Yeah, we should probably head to the exit. That seems like a long, winding way. Although we could go to the left of there. Might be a less of a winding way. And a Warp Seed. die. Now I'm the one that Silas is probably looking at. It's like, you know, you don't have to use your super-powered moves to annihilate them. Exploration team, run! Alright. Get stunned, idiot, please. Please die. Like, I wonder why you would even be an outlaw in the Pokemon world. 
Like, sure, some commit some crimes to commit, sure, but just like, why would you run into a dungeon? Then again, I guess a lot of normal Pokemon also go into dungeons. How else do they get, like, lost in there and lose things in there? Either that or, like, you run into somebody mean and they're like, Haha, I'm gonna throw your item into a dungeon because screw you, kind of like what Team Skull did. I also, I do find it kind of funny that so far we have, uh, except for the, like, prologue fight, the tutorial dungeon, we haven't freaking fought Team Skull. Like at all. You're gonna be an outlaw, yeah. I don't even think we need to worry too much about you. You actually did a decent amount of damage, but... Silas, why doth thy not do things? You're all... Oh, because I took them off for some reason. I wonder why. I'm an idiot. I'm sure I had my reasons for taking his moves away. I'm sure I had my reasons, but I forget what they were. Begone, Whoopa. How dare you spit, uh, spit in my eye, I kill you. How dare you come along after somebody spit in my eye, I kill you too. And now Brain is imagining, like, in this case, Zoroa being blasted in the face with mud. And then before we continue on our journey, Silas helps wash some, m the mud out of our face and eyes and fur. Just like a sweet little moment. You know, that could actually be wholesome. Everyone in the guild just crowding around Chimchar and Winter due to them being the only fire type in the guild. That would actually be, yeah, that would actually be sweet. Little things like that, they go a long way. They're like, hey, let's acknowledge like, the characters, and make a nice little wholesome situation out of them. Yeah, that's that's a very good idea. Write that down. I'm wondering what unique guild bonding activities Silas and Zorwa Neon would do. Like, depending on, like, in-universe Zorwa illusion abilities... Perhaps we would put on, like, illusion shows for everybody. You motherfucking barboach. This is the second time, the second fucking time, that that has happened. How dare. The second time, my beloved box fell into the ocean. Thank you for getting me my orange gummy. The show my thanks up you'd have the screen gummy. He traded a gummy for a gummy. I wonder why. What is with that orange gummy that's so special to you? You brought Pencer in for a rest. This is the bounty on the outlaw's head. Thank you for your cooperation. I've been wanting to take art classes anyway. I doth say, go for it. Become good at art. Maybe also look up like various tutorials through YouTube, because there are a decent amount of them that should still hold up to scrutiny to help you with various concepts and stuff, give you a head start. I need to do that more, but I'm a fool. Thank you for getting my slumber orb. To show my thanks, I want you to have this grass gummy. Nah, if this was Shane back in Rescue Team, he would be happy. And I want you to have my vile seed. Why does that feel like a backhanded compliment? You brought Bullbeat in for a rest. Take this item as your reward. An apple! Just an apple. Huh. Thank you for finding Venomoth. Please accept this 2,500 pokey. Gotta say, it's like... To buy a rescue team to save your friend takes a, a lot of money for your average pokey person. Maybe. It's entirely possible because I don't know, like, how much a normal job gets. Are you still awake, Neon? 
I have to admit that today was full of surprises. The great Dusk Noir's talk about coming from the future? That was mind-boggling. Dusk Noir pursued Grovile from the future to our world. He came to apprehend that wicked Grovile. And to take him back to the future. That's why the job of capturing Grovile is his responsibility. We have to trust Dusk Noir about this. To be honest, I would like to capture Grovile, Grovile ourselves, but I'm not up to the task yet. Excuse me. We don't have any choice but to depend on Dusk Noir after all. Neon, I guess you're asleep. I better get to sleep too. It would be great if Grovile gets caught soon. Good night, Neon. That's sweet. I like it. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Doot, 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 doot. I love this game. So good. Some annoyances here or there, but it's just so good. <clears throat> so here's where it stands. We have yet to receive word of Groval's capture. Hey, hey! Are Mesprit and his friends all right? We don't know that either. We received no information at all. We're in the dark. That said, we can't go off on our own and spoil the trap. We will have to stand down until we receive word of some sort. Until then, we should carry on with our usual work. So everyone, let's get back to work today. Hooray! Ah, you two. Today, take jobs from the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. That will do. Hey, Diglett! Let's put in a good day of search for duty. That'll do for now. <laughs> Welcome. Do -do -do -do. Probo. Ah, uh, nothing here for me, though. Sadness. Utter sadness. Where is my shit? I want my dusk orb. I want to be immune to fighting. Let's see. Uh, we have a foggy forest. That will probably be a pain to do. And a landslide cave. Do we have any other landslide caves? Jesus Christ, there's a lot of craggy coasts. We're not gonna do that. So yeah, search for hop hips. And, yeah, escort plusle? No. Well, I guess we're gonna do a bunch of craggy coasts. Hey, hey, not knowing what's been happening. Hey, hey, this is stressful, I say. Well, all we can do is keep doing our usual work, hey, hey. No word from the Great Dusk Noir yet? It would be good to see Grovile finally captured. Anything at Craggy Coast? There is! My treasure has been stolen at basement level 5. Take item from Cubone. I hope it's not its head. Jesus Christ. Annoying Shuckle Northern Desert 1 Star. Ha. Huh. I don't think I'll do that one. I don't think I'm ready for a one star. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. As usual, we will take all of our money out so we can go do things. Dear God, we actually have a lot of money. I think we're safe hands with the Great Dusk Noir. I'm sure he'll catch Groval for us. Oops, I shouldn't have said that so loud. Who knows? Groval might even be listening in on us. One can't be too careful. How would he be moving around here without being seen? I want to know how the Great Dust Noir tends to take down Grovile. I'd like to see that fight, but I'd rather not get in the way. What do you suppose finally happened to Grovile? I do hope this plan works. If the Great Dust Noir and Grovile were to fight, I would think the battle would be a high-level one. Doing nothing but waiting is frustrating, but it's the Great Dust Noir's call. We have to trust him to do it. I have, like, one box? Yeah. What's in my one box? And so it is revealed within these boxes were uh, a gravel rock. God, that's disappointing. That is very disappointing. Wow, wow, wow. 
I love the music. Oh no, we're gonna have to do more recycling. All right, we're gonna take, we're gonna take a lot of gummies with us. First things first, zoop. Yeah, cause I don't, we'll take that out to sell. Why do we have so many apples? Yeah, we'll just take all our gummies with ya. With ya, I'm me. My brain is melting. And in fact, we should probably also take, let's see, where are they? I'll take two max elixirs for me. Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. I'll sell these iron thorns. I don't want them. What do you have to sell? Hmm, more gummies. Do I care to buy them just to... If they were the right kind of gummies to give us a super boost, I would, but... Spending 800, but at the same time, I don't really, like, buy anything. Again, would it be nice? Oh, yeah, we actually can do that. And I guess we can... Do away with all our money. Take them. Oh, never mind. I wanted you to take them, not for me to take out of the nothing. I am but a fool. This just um, um, makes me imagine Silas just like, no, no, Neon. We're not here to take more money out. We're here to give the money back. It's like, oh, sorry. You know, just like an absent minded Zorua. Who's just so strong, they annihilate all the foes. I'm back on a lunch break this time. The special episode, Eggly Buff the Prodigy, was just amazing. It was such a great story. <laughs> it actually made me tear up a bit. I like this, I love this game. It's so nice. So far, the only thing I'm having trouble with is the inventory management. And a little bit of... Uh... Bidoof's, like, cave questing had a bit of problems there because I am bad at the game. I just, I just love it so much. Makes me wonder what, uh, the today's Ooeek is going to be. It's obviously going to follow Sunflora, but I wonder what it's going to be about and stuff. Would be nice to get to know her a bit more. Because I feel like she's been kind of in the back and not showing up as much. Sure, she shows up decently, but not super duper as much. Just getting... <laughs> just going through all the gummies. Again, the idea that these could be alcoholic would be hilarious. Neon, why are we getting crunk before a mission? It's the only way that I can kill. This will be the final gummy. Then we'll look through on doing a round of recycling. Good job. No RNG for us, but oh well. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts, a new discovery has been made! 
This time, treasure was discovered, so we're offering higher grade of recycled items. Yay! What will be there? A drowsy severed head? Let's see. So now we can get special bands. There's lots of things. But of course, we want that silver ticket. Protuin. I don't. Okay, maybe I can spare to part with a few apples. Jesus Christ, if I thought. Why do I have so many apples? Where do they all come from? I think I just didn't. Like. Organize my inventory for a long time. Ooh, a winner! I am the Victory Road! And now my brain has made an innuendo out of that, I think. And we got a vial seed! Again, I, I think. I guess he didn't like my brain forming an innuendo. It's not my fault. I do not control the way that brain thinks. Invasive thoughts are a thing, you know. Again, a few apples, because Jesus Christ. A few orange berries, because Jesus Christ. And we'll go to yellow, since the last one was blue. It's like, how? I don't have control the brain. Another win on yellow. And what do we win? A toxic. Again, how dare you? I'm not in a relationship with a... What are they called? The Salazzle? Besides, what would Silas think? Let's see. Why do I have so many pure seeds? Thank you for recycling. And red. I doubt it'll go on a new one. I do not control the speed at which lobsters die. Exactly. Another victory. Three in a row. If only it was the super duper win so we could watch the dancing lobsters and the rate at which they die. And a gold ribbon. You just gave me a thing to sell. Right? Can be sold for big money. Gonna have to throw some things into my storage unit anyway. That's hilarious. I have a gold ribbon to sell ya. I swear if I get a job that's like, hey, seven stars, give us a golden ticket, I'm, I'm gonna take it just so I can murder them. Check the beach just in case. I doubt there'll be anything down there, but you never know. You never know what can be down here on the beach. Like dead people. Or bottles for recycling. How do Pokemon have glass? Which Pokemon invented glass first? Was it a Charizard? No, I don't want to delete it. Treasure was stolen. Please save my beloved. Please save my beloved. Okay, it's kind of cute that it's a Minin looking for a, a plusle. That's sweet. Take us to Craggy Cursed. <laughs> I just think Zorwarks are adorable. They are adorable. Zorwa, Zorwarks, there's lots of adorable Pokemon. Only one item on this floor. Get rocked, idiot. 
Now that just makes me think that I threw the rock at him so hard that he upchucked mud. You're disgusting. Your existence will be wiped from history. I just wanna hug one. Hug them with their big fluffy ponytails. Their ability to shapeshift-ish with illusions. It could pretend to be your best friend, and then in the process become your best friend. Hello, Krabby. Go back to the beach so you can blow bubbles and not die. Two items on this floor. Hello, Wingle. God, you're pathetic and you're dead already. Is this what it's like to be God? You walk into a room and people die and you're like, Why'd you die? Are you just a little weakling? Treasure box time. <laughs> Maybe that should be another, like, art idea for my comics where the Zoroa main character is just obsessed with treasure chests. They see one and just like, chest, chest, chest. And the partner's just like, but we're here to look for someone. Chest, chest. Can you come and fight me, please? Yeah, there's just so many good Pokemon that like, if it existed in real life, it would just be amazing. Some less so, some more so. And then some you can't admit to, uh, unless you want to be put on a list. Like Gardevoir. Or Lopunny. Or Mega Lopunny. Like they know what they were doing with Mega Lopunny. We're gonna take the Playboy Bunny and give it torn tights. And also make it, <laughs> give it the ability to absolutely kick your ass. And Eon, about your Emerald Pokemon playthrough, how come you didn't catch the legendary Reggie Trio? I think it's because by that point, like, catching legendaries for legendaries' sake wasn't all that interesting to me. And the rest of the post game just slightly bothered me, I believe. Where I, I, I decently enjoyed, like, the story up to it, but then when the legendaries were just like, oh, now you can catch them for catching them's sake. And that didn't really interest me all that much. Because that just feels ever so slightly lazy in terms of, like, game design. Where they're basically only useful or interesting to then be taken to other games. And since there's no New Game Plus in Pokemon games at all still, it just like, eh, <laughs> didn't really interest me all that much. I like legendaries that I can catch mid-story, because then it just feels more rewarding to capture them. But when you reduce a legendary Pokemon basically just down to a bragging rights reward, it just, eh, it loses its luster for me. It's probably the same reason why I didn't really uh, go after the go and try to recruit the legendary Pokemon in Rescue Team. Because they're all kind of post-game, kind of difficult to get, and kind of more bragging rights reward than actual tangible thing that helps you. Don't you have to learn to read Braille to get them, the Reggie Trio? I think so. They're one of the more puzzly puzzle puzzlesons of the capture thingy things. And I do not know Braille. I know I could just, like, look up the answers to get them. Unless they're cruel and, like, have it be a unique thing for each, like, trainer ID and seed and stuff. But who knows. I just didn't really feel all that motivated to go after all of them. Like the box trio, sure. Kyogre, Groudon, and everything. Sure, sure. I'll go after them. 
Even if I did mix up my saves and then ha lost Kyogre. But again, it's like, it's not like I could even use them. Even in the frickin' Battle Tower. They're like, oh, by the way, the legendaries that you can catch in this game, haha, -ha, they don't work here. Which is just, why would you do that? And then you throw them like, haha, -ha, by the way, this, like, guy in the trainer tower, he uses an Entei. Haha. -ha. <laughs> it was a frustrating experience, that one. But yeah, overall, when it comes to the post-game stuff of games I play, I go by vibes. If I vibe with the post-game that's happening, I'll do the post-game. If I don't vibe with the post-game, I won't do the post-game. It's also kind of like how I didn't do absolutely everything in uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Because the game bothered me. Also, Zoroarks and Pokemon were real. How much Zoroarks would you think would try to use public transportation? Depends on, like, the need for the Zoroark, but I could totally see tons of Zoroark using it. Why do all the Wingles want to join me? No. Actually, they can. I'm assuming you're talking about using the legendaries in, like, the post-game battle tower. I'm fairly certain no, because I think I looked it up. It could also be different because uh, this is specifically Emerald and not like uh, Oras, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. I don't know if they changed things there. Oh yeah, and another thing that I kind of disliked about... You complete the mission? No, I do not want to go. About like the Battle Tower and stuff is that the level 50 challenge is just mean, because I would have liked it if it was everything is set to level 50, rather than, like, oh, you can go in, but then, like, everybody's, like, <laughs> the, the NPCs, they'll always be better than you. I basically just didn't like the overall challenge design of the Battle Tower, because it was essentially the super duper, we are appealing to the sweaty competitors on this one. Which I guess isn't terrible as a thing to have, but I feel I feel like it should have had a big old warning like, hey, this is made to be the most absolutely destructive, competitive post-game content. Where you basically have to form an entire team with the best moves and the best of everything to even have a chance against the abhorrent nightmare strategies that our trainers are gonna throw at you. Because I thought like, oh, this is just gonna be a fun old time. A battle tower where you can just fight lots of dudes. No. It was hell. It was evil hell. Where I ran into two trainers whose entire strategies were to lame you to death with damage over time effects while they heal. Ugh. Oh, they changed a lot in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They added Mega Evolutions. Oh yeah, I remember that, because that was the uh, X and Y era. Eventually I'll have to get around to playing those as well. Which means I have to get to playing uh, Platinum again at some point. Again, I say, as if I started. But yeah, eventually I'll have to go and start playing Platinum. Because I remember really liking Platinum when I played it years and years and years ago. It's like one of the three Pokemon games that I actually played. So it'll be fun to re-experience it, especially because I hardly remember anything about it. I, Like, to be honest, I think that I remember more about Explorers than I do Platinum. Which, to be fair, there's like more story and stuff in Explorers than I think there is in Platinum. Even if there is more, like, story overall, and, like, yeah, I'm trying to word it properly, like, compared to other Pokemon games like before it, even if Platinum has a decent amount of story, I think that Explorers has more story. And also more story that stuck with me. But I always did remember liking Sinnoh and those games. 
this will be interesting to experience it at some point, but <laughs> right now I'm in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon mode. Although now part of me is saying, hey, take breaks from, like, in between the games to savor the Mystery Dungeon possibility of, like, playing the games. But the main problem is all of my freaking games in my backlog seem to be, like, diddly dang RPGs. Like, I want to do all of the Xenoblades. Xenoblade Chronicles, Xenoblade X, Xenoblade 2. Want to play all those? I don't have Xenoblade Chronicles 3, though, so that's technically not on the list, because then I'd have to buy it. And capitalism eats my soul. Thank you for getting back my slumber orb. Please accept this 3,000 pokey. Thank you for rescuing Volbeat. Please accept this. She paid me less money for a person than the Doug, the dude, Doug Trio did. Not Doug Trio. The bird guy with three heads. And also, like, <laughs> according to one Pokedex for the three-headed bird guy. I know that it's more implying, like, oh, he has, like, a... Uh, because, uh, like, it is said, like, obviously, he has three heads. But it is said that he has three of other body parts as well. And it doesn't elaborate. Implying that he has three dicks. I played all three, except X. I really want to play Xenoblade Chronicles X because... Like, I like the, the look of it. Although, apparently, the one consistent thing I've heard from people who've played it is that it desperately needs a sequel. Because I think it ends on a cliffhanger. So, I <laughs> can't wait to get to that. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing Plus, all the show my thinks have a red gummy. Yay. And a blue gummy. Yay. And we get experience. I wonder what will happen. Will Dusknor come in? With Grovile de Thief. <laughs> he accidentally captures Mask to Mask instead. Listen, Neon. I wonder how Azelf and his friends are doing. Actually, they're a polycule. Do you think that they may be fighting Grovile now? I just can't sleep with that on my mind. But if you stop to think, this is all so strange. I mean, Pokemon coming from the future? Something like that is really possible? That's true. It's hard to accept that Pokemon could come from the future. Come to think of it, this never crossed my mind before. The world of the future where Dusknoir and Grovile came from. What is it like? Is the future like the present day? Well, no, he explicitly said that it's a nightmare world where the sun never rises and everything is frozen and hellish. Which also would technically imply that, like, the air would be frozen in time, and there everybody would die. But apparently not. Then again, maybe... I don't know. Because they're moving around in the future even though the time is f frozen, so who knows? Is it a world at peace? He literally said it's a world at ruin! Or did he? Oh no, that's not what he said. He said that he came from- oh yeah, because I forgot, my brain. <laughs> Dusknoir said, because I, I just remember seeing that panning shot of like, this is what it would be like if all the time gears were stolen. But all he said was that Grovile came to the past to do that, to paralyze the world. I forget exactly if he implied that the future was paralyzed. My brain is melting. Uh, it's another early day tomorrow. I better force myself to sleep. I'm going to sleep, Neon. Good night. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. I like the partners in this game. Again, hero partner ship for life. The next morning. Up it at him. It's morning! Uh. Good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. Do, 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 do. Does that kind of a spoiler, Neon? I don't know. I'm just rambling to myself. Because again, Dusknoir said the future is frozen. Or like, again, I'm mixing it up in my brain because he said 
Girl Vile's doing that. They showed the panning shot, so I think my brain auto-corrected to like, oh, the future is frozen, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> About the attempt to capture Girl Vile. We have yet to receive word that Girl Vile has been captured. Well, obviously something's gonna happen because Diglett's not here. I understand that you are all itching for something to happen, but consider this a test of your patience. Because we ask you carry on with your usual work. Oh, what's the siren? Deputy Magnemite is here. This is a message from Officer Magnazone. We are pleased to deliver this report. Grovile has finally been captured. Whoa, at last! By gosh, Grovile's been caught. Oh my gosh, they did it! Yippee! There's more. Grovile was captured by the Great Dusk Noir. He has informed us that he will return to the future with Grovile. Dusk Noir is going home? Going back to the future? How do you go back? I do not claim to understand the process, but I have heard they will be going through a tunnel. He called it a dimensional hole. He opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square, I am told. Dusknor told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Therefore, he hopes that you will come see him for the last time in Treasure Town Square. Hey, hey! Well, what are we doing here? Let's hurry. We have to go to Treasure Town. <laughs> just casually. Oh, yeah. He, you know, he just opened a portal to hell. How do you even do that, Dusknor? Everyone's already here. Not everyone. Purple Kekleon's not here. Hey, hey! I don't see the Great Dusk Noir around yet! What's that?! This is a dimensional hole. Dimensional hole? Not the dimensional glory hole. Oh, what Magnemite was trying to explain earlier. Golly! This is it! Isn't that something? So stepping inside this here thing will take you to the future? Watch out! Stay clear! The instant you touch it, you'll be sent to the future. Please be extremely careful. Oh. Hey, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Elzov too. Everybody turns around. Even the people that were already here. Silas. You're all safe. Am I glad to see that? Naturally. So was the plan successful? Yep. I have to hand it to the Great Dusk Noir. It was flawless. Grovile's been captured, and we regained all the time gears he'd stolen. Yes, that's excellent! Dusk Noir should be along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's the Great Dusk Noir! Here comes the Great Dusk Noir! Everyone, make way! Is it gonna be like the Prince Ali? And that's, that's Grovile? Unique, like, sprite of him being covered up. He looks like a bad guy, that's what... <laughs> finally, they finally caught him. But what's with the Sableye? That's right, the world is... I, because I would just wanted to comment on the Sableye and him being tied up. That's horrifying. You're not even gonna let him talk? <laughs> Let's see if I can remember his voice. Everyone, today I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, Grovile... Grovile has been captured. Hey, but Dusk Noir, I thought you worked alone. Why where's of the Sableye? Are they like... Because <laughs> I... I don't know. It just it feels out of place. I figured like Magnemites would be carrying him around. This was all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Much clapping, even though most of them don't have hands. They even roped his mouth, yeah. His beak, I guess. What even are you, you grass dinosaur? As you can see, Grovile is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in the lasting peace of your world. It looks like they have Grovile muzzled. You can't say a word that way. But I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It is time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true. Hey, hey. I'm feeling the blues. There was so much I wanted to learn from you. Yep, yep. Yuxi, Mesprit, Azelf. I entrust you with the rest. 
Yep, we know. We got the Time Gears back, and we will make sure they return to their rightful places. The task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. You have literally saved us all. Oh, no, no. You have been most kind and helpful. I hope you will continue to work to preserve the peace. Yes, you can depend on that. Now, I'm afraid that time has come. <laughs> Actually, have to shove him in. Harsh. And I guess those Sable I are from the future. Nobody's gonna comment on that. Everyone, though it pains me. Oogie, I hate sad goodbyes. I hope we see you again. <laughs> Dusk Noir, sir. <laughs> oh, yes. Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Silas and Neon. That's us. Let's go up there. So this is really goodbye, Dusk Noir, sir. For everything you've done, thank you sincerely. Well, this is... Goodbye. Or... <laughs> Vsauce Dust Noir here, or is it? What? It's too soon for farewells. Well, that's horrifying! Wah! You two are coming with me. Wah! My gosh! Silas, Neon! What, what was... What just happened? Exactly, what the f Oh, this is trippy! Wah! <laughs> Would you like to save your adventure? But we are in the midst of time itself! <laughs> Chapter 14, Into the Future. Really, I guess if you're going to mention the future in a game, and somebody came from the future, you have to go there as well. It only makes sense. Kidnapping! Exactly. Uh, uh, where is this? I was... dragged? I think this is like the first time that technically this is spoken dialogue, maybe? Because it's not in parentheses. I can't... losing consciousness again. knew it. We're in hell. Bad touch. Bad touch. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Exactly. Jesus Christ. That's a crumbled tower, it looks like. Or maybe it's just a very small crumbled building. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. While I encountered more difficulty than anticipated... I finally succeeded. In the capture, yes. I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I will see to the elimination immediately. You mean execution? My dude? <laughs> ah yes, elimination! <laughs> Like a fascist regime. We don't execute, we eliminate. Dialga's having a heart attack. Nah. He's just very happy that he's flickering. I understand. As you wish. I take my leave. <laughs> More like he took his leave. You didn't walk away, he did. Hey. Neon. Wake up, Neon! Uh... Where? You're awake! This place. I think it's a jail. It's a jail? I just woke up a while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. I tried the doors, but they're locked. There seems to be no other way out. I think we've been locked up. Uh. What's going on? We're locked up? I don't know what's going on either, but I may as well investigate. Neon tested the doors. The doors failed to open. That's no good. Like Silas said, these doors won't open. It sure looks like we've been locked up. 
I mean, in Pokedex entry, Dialga's heartbeat looks like, oh, makes time run. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that. So it's more like, oh, no, that's not Dialga. It's his nobody. Somebody stole his heart and then turned his heart into a heartless, which doesn't make much uh, nomenclature sense, but... <sighs> How did we end up this way? Uh, bastard floaty bitch with no feet. I think what was happened was Dusknor grabbed us. Then he dragged us into the dimensional hole. What? Wait, so this may be... Is this the future? But that's... I can't believe this. I mean, this is the future? Why are we even here? Uh, but... This whole room is constructed in a way unlike anything I've ever seen. Now that I've had time to digest this, maybe this actually is... The future. What? Neon! Did we really end up in the future? Uh, now what should we do? I don't know. We could try bashing the door down. We beat the... An illusionary Groudon. Why can't we bust down a door? So if... If this place is the future, how are we supposed to get back to our world? Well, that's horrifying. They're awake. How convenient. All right. We'll do this quick. Do this quick? Do what? What? <gasps> they blindfolded me? Uh, definitely stranger danger. I can't see a thing. Come with us. How? Oh, don't shove me! The future is now. Cyberpunk 2077. Dialga has had a heart attack. So if that's Dialga's nobody, how would we rearrange Dialga's name with an X in it? Hmm. Could maybe... I have no idea. The G and the D kind of get in the way a little bit. Maybe like Gale Dax or something? Uh, this blindfold makes it impossible to tell where I'm going. But where are they taking us? Another door. We're here. Oh, that's horrifying. Where is this? You have me trussed up. I can't move. Why is this happening? Hey! Why do they have spotlights? Silas! Am I glad to see you? You're okay, right? Ha! Huh. You're clueless about what's going to happen. I guess you can afford to be nonchalant about it. Huh? That voice came from over there. Grovile! You two. Do you have any inkling about where you are? No. This is a stockade. They're preparing to get rid of us for good. What? Get rid of us? Wait a second. It's e easy to understand why they'd want to get rid of you, Grovile, but why us? We haven't done anything wrong. Ha! Huh. I couldn't care less. You must have done something they can't tolerate. What? We haven't done anything bad. Don't think that we're like you. I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. Again, where did they get spotlights? Again, horrifying. What? Who are they? They're the jailers who do all the dirty work around here. They also happen to be Dusk Noir's underlings. What? The great Dusk Noirs? Well, that proves it. Hey, it's Dusk Noir. Lord Dusk Noir. The three have been tied up to the to, to, to the stakes. Good. Dusknoir, sir! It's me, Silas! Very well, Sableye. Those three. We need to be rid of them. What? Pay them no heed. You may get ready. <laughs> They're just gonna enjoy this, I guess. Wait a minute! Dusknoir, sir! What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to us? Don't waste your breath. Instead, shh. Keep your voices down so they can't hear you. Uh, keep my voice down? You two, if you want to get away, give me your full cooperation. 
What? Help you, Grovile? There's no time to think. Or would you prefer to stick around for them? Psst, hey, you there. Yeah? Tell me, what can you do right now? What? What can I do? You ask me that out of nowhere. Um, what can I do? I guess use a move? A move? That could work, but... No, that's no good. We're trussed up, so we can't move. It has to be something you can do instantaneously. It doesn't need to be flashy. Can't you do anything basic? Uh, you're not helping. Um, what can I do? Attack? That's it. That'll do. If it's just a regular attack, I can help too. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Very well. But be vigilant to the end. Don't take your eyes off them. Especially that Grovile. <laughs> Why do they have to do that little eye flashy? Commence now. <laughs> They're coming. Listen carefully. Sableye used claws to strike. Yikes, that sounds scary. And that might just open one avenue for escape. The Sableye will unleash their fury swipes in a frenzy. That's our chance. If even one of their attacks were to hit the ropes binding us. All right, the ropes might come loose. Exactly. And if that happens, lash out with an attack, then flee. B but what if their fury swipes don't slash the ropes? And what if, what if the Sableye don't use fury swipes at all? <laughs> if that happens, don't even think about it. Jesus Christ! Wah! Uh, endure it! Wait for your chance! If they keep going, we'll be finished before our chance comes! Hey! There's a break in the ropes! Now! Attack! Go! Gwah! What is this? You didn't even plan for this? You used ropes for your, like, slippity slashy guys? There. Gah! We can't see! Compose yourselves! It's only a luminous orb. Its effect wears off quickly. Blast it! That Grovile. He fled using the flash from that luminous orb as cover. And you didn't take it from him? They won't get away with this. Come! <laughs> now we get to chase them all over again! We just hid behind the... <laughs> oh, we went in the ground? We don't even know... Dig. What? Blah, got dirt in my mouth. We're... We're safe. Probably bloody from the absolute torture we just went through. So Grovile can use Dig? He sure knows many moves. We got out of that scrape, but we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get out of here, and fast. I kind of like that we, for the most part, just kind of trust Grovile for now, because just like, he got us out of... Well, first off, he was willing to work with us, and so we didn't get killed. We did nothing wrong. Might as well hear him out for a little bit, maybe. Come on, this way. We need to keep running until we hit the exit. Come on, faster! Pick it up! This is the fastest I can go! Quit ordering me around! Anyway, Grovile. What? Is this... the future? That's right. You catch on fast? Uh, so it is, after all. Are we... are we going to be able to get back to our world? Who knows? We just need to get away for now. If we get caught returning home, we'll be the last of your worries. Run faster! I can't! I'm exhausted! <sighs> We're almost there! Look, the exit is right there! <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Where's the antiseptic when you need it? Exactly. Then again, maybe the f because if this is the frozen future, maybe blood doesn't even bleed here. Which is kind of horrifying to think. We did it! We're... outside! And now we get to see the horrifying future. What? What? What is this? 
death and dis damnation destruction. This is... our world? In the future? Those boulders are floating! This is really a strange place, and it's horribly dark. Not even the wind blows. It's as if all movement... It's as if everything stopped. Exactly. What? <laughs> I hear those sable eye. We have to keep running. Oh yeah, the music I just noticed. It was too busy in the story. That music was ominous too. Good. <sighs> Listen, Grovile. I'm exhausted. There's no time to rest. If they catch us, we're done. Tough it out and run. That's easy for you to say. I can't. I have to rest. All right. This forms a natural alcove. This should shield us from view. After a quick rest, we'll have to get moving again. Wait a minute! When we escaped from the stockade, we had cooperated with you because we had no other choice. But we didn't promise we'd go with you afterward. A bad Pokemon like you, you're not worth trusting. Silas. Ha. Huh. So I'm the bad guy. And that Dusk Noir is the good guy? Then how about explaining Dusk Noir's actions earlier? It wasn't just me. They wanted you gone, too. Ah, uh, but... That doesn't mean I should put my faith in you, Grovile. Earning your trust isn't an easy task, it seems. I thought that having allies would help, but... There's no point in continuing together without trust. We'll go our separate ways. I'm staying on the move. You two should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait a second! You tell us to leave soon, but... It's dark out now. It's hard to see where we're going. We're staying setting off again right away. Should we wait for morning? Wouldn't it be better to leave when it gets light out? That isn't possible. I hate to say it, but morning never comes. What? This world, your future, it's a world of perpetual darkness. The sun never rises, so morning never comes. The darkness persists forever. Why? Because the planet has been paralyzed. The planet is paralyzed? The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis! That's right, I remember now! Dustnor described the planet's paralysis before. It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis! Yes, if the planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As many more are taken, time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to those this world? In a world where the planet become paralyzed, no winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruination of the world. The planet's paralysis. Sure, this place resembles Dust Noir's description, but even then... It's hard to understand how the planet has been paralyzed in the future. You're free to believe or reject what I'm telling you. By the way, I suggest you leave here as soon as you can. I'm going. Don't let those sable eye catch you. Ah, uh, Neon. I don't know what to think anymore. Wasn't the planet's paralysis supposed to be caused by all those time gears going missing? That's why we all tried to stop Grovile from stealing the time gears. We did everything we were supposed to do, right? Yuxis and the others said that they would return the recaptured time gears to their rightful places. That should have prevented the planet's paralysis. But despite all our efforts, why is the planet still paralyzed in our future? I don't know who or what to believe in anymore. <laughs> ah, the Sableye! 
We can't stay here, Neon. Let's get ready quickly so we can get moving. That map looks cool. Uh, we can even check our storage. How nice. This is nice music. It's all very good. Again, I do kind of like that we can just utilize our diddly d. Are you ready, Neon? All set. Okay, let's go, quick. Chasm Cave. Oh, Jesus. This place is... Oh, hello, demon. Music is awesome. This place is horrifying. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, technically, that just sent me forward. This music is so good. But yeah, it's just like... It's kind of some, just like... Almost unbelievable to a degree. Then again, they kind of did sort of foreshadow that Dusk Noir was kind of weird a little bit, but only just a little bit. Otherwise, well, that's just mean. <laughs> Die, fool, and give me that box. And it's just like... What even? Because, like, on some level, you knew that couldn't have been the end of it, end of it, because there wasn't a climax to the story. Like, you didn't get to the end and fight like a legendary to save the world. If you actually went along and fought Grovile, like, I could see it being a bit more believable that, like, <laughs> the end was near. But you kind of knew that something had to give. The urgency of the trumpet is something. It was very good. And I kind of like the unique, to like, <coughs> it could just be the, like, way the tile set was made. But, like, the fact that it feels like we're going through, like, floating islands rather than a cave makes it, like, really, in it, like, it changes the perception of, like, how the entire thing feels. Oh, I can learn a new move. What is it? Dark Pulse? Torment. What the fuck? Prevents the target from using the last move it used. The effect persists as long as the target remains on the floor. Hmm. That's kind of interesting, but I don't think there's that many moves that I don't want other Pokemon using in succession. And again, we can go... <gasps> oh, who knows? Maybe we won't ever be able to go back to Electivire to remember things. Maybe we're all stuck here, eternally. But I do like the twist. The twist is very good. Like, you think Grovile is the, like, the, the big bad. And then the game is like, psych? Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know what the guy's deal is. What the fuck? Oh, hell! Why are you so big and ugly? Ah, oh, you motherfucker. How do you even kick up a sandstorm in the floating hell region? I'm gonna leave. There's like three items on this floor, I don't care. Goodbye, Drifloom. No one loves you. Four items on this floor. If we run into an onyx, we have to kill him. And the tile set changed slightly in color. 
Either that or I, my my eyes were just flash banged by the sun uh, sand storm that badly. Well, you keep doing. Will you stop doing that? I'm cringing. I do not want to be cringe. I want to be based. At least we're getting a lot of experience from this. Will you kindly stop that? Once again, kindly stop. Kill. <laughs> you handle him. Oh, fell out of sight, so yeah, this is oblivion. This is hell. Why do you keep missing, Silas? Thank you, you murdered him at long last. And we'll quickly sit in the corner and heal quite a bit. Just slurping up our own health like juice. I shall blast you out of the sky. What the f Now that doesn't seem fair at all. Explosion is meant to be a move, not a defeat result. You mother fucker. Like, why? Why does that happen? Why do you exist? Why can you do that? Again, I personally don't think that's very kind, game. That an enemy can do a bunch of damage by dying to me. Reflect. Maybe I should have brought more apples. Surprised me because I usually can tell a twist villain due to the way, uh, always seeing them. Dust Norm was different, although. Yep. Like, aside from the slight bit on the beach, that was the only tell that, like, hey, something is up with the guy. But at the same time, you might just think that maybe, like, that's something that will be revealed about him later rather than he's hiding, well, well, quote unquote, he could still be hiding something. But just because he was acting weird on the beach doesn't automatically make you think, oh, maybe he's a bad guy. It's not your first, like, assumption with the guy. Thank God that drift bloom motherfucker decided to fly away. God damn it. You are an annoying enemy to beat. Great, I leveled up! Here in the future, where nobody can hear me scream. But yeah, no, that that's a mean design. You give that guy, because I think that move that he was using was a move that if I don't kill him in one hit, he's going to hit me with the damage I hit him with. So he is just a very annoying enemy to deal with. Unless... <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. We already knew where the exit was. I'm a fool. Oh, no. Um, all right, fine. We die. Yeah. At least now we know why it's a... Like, big ol' abyss and not walls. Because those guys would just blow up the walls. For items on this floor. And all of them are here. I... All of them are just right here. Ooh, Brian. I don't think anybody... No one here can learn it. Hello, ditto. How about you turn into me? Like, what is even the point of ditto in this world? Now my brain went ditto. The ultimate prostitute in the Pokemon world. Hey there, baby. I can be anything you want me to be. Leave him alone, you bastard. Very impressive that his not very effective did basically the same amount of damage that my normally effective attack was. And I do enjoy... Like, maybe not, not, enjoy isn't the word, but, like, I do find it interesting how, like, all the rooms are, like, 
always on the edges. And how it's basically the same layout again and again with small variation here or there. It's actually very interesting. Intriguing. Why is there even Pokey in this future? Is it just generated by the the future dungeon? Oh, I hope he just doesn't kill me. Why did that not explode him? I am confuzzled. What? Why is it all of them explode except for that one? Look, Neon! Could that be the exit over there? Let's go over there! Frozen water. How are we even... How are we gonna get food? Well, I guess we found apples. But how are we gonna get water? <sighs> Did he put some distance between us and those Sableye? <sighs> Let's rest a little now. Hold, there's water there! And it's frozen. What? This waterfall... This water isn't flowing at all. The gushing water is totally suspended in space! Is Grovile right after all? Has time really stopped in the future? Why did Dusk Noir bring us here? The great Dusk Noir who was so kind to us. I don't know what to believe anymore. If only there was some way to finding the truth. Oh, I know! There is a way of getting the truth, Neon. And what's that? Asking Dusk Noir who's just gonna feed us to the Sableye? Huh? Your dimensional scream! Use your dimensional scream, Neon! It's not exactly something that I can do on command! Touch this frozen water! Who knows, you may see something! Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching that frozen water, it might give us a clue about what's going to- what's happening around us. We can't dawdle. Those Sableye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly! Leon touched the frozen spray of water. Well, Neon? Can you see anything? No. I'm not sensing anything. No, huh? <sighs> That's disappointing. It would have been reassuring if we could begin to understand what's happening. We didn't learn anything at all. We spent a lot of time here. If we don't hurry, those Sableye will get to us. Let's get ready and go, Neon. All right, funky music. God, I just putting so much into my storage. I literally put all of everything into my storage, so oh no. Or anything I care to like destroy. This is some bopping music. All right, I'll take all of those. And now I'll destroy them one by one. I wish that I could, like... Inventory management super duper well, but it will. Like, uh, select a bunch of items and trash them all at once. But I guess that would be a niche use considering that... They give you that ability in many other places, just not here. Burr, burr. Again, this is some bopping music. I should have done more recycling. Hey, Neon, are you ready? Okay, let's go. We didn't even get any drink. Dark Hill. Ah, great. Ghosts. Nope. Damn it. We have to lure him out, so tactics. Hmm, let's see. Go after foes, avoid the first hit. Be patient. Let's be patient. Hmm. 
There we go. Let's go together. I shall throw rocks at you. Quiff all the missing. It has little effect. Fine, I'll kill him myself. We have this. I really do like that they're going all out with the story here. So, like, they are just here and showing you the entire story and letting it linger. Because I do like... Uh, just one... Oh, we were right on it. Like, I do like Rescue Team, but the fact that the story is, like, being allowed to just exist is very, very nice. I enjoy it immensely. Darn it. Sorry, let's go the other way. I told you, you idiot. Go the other way. But I guess get away from here is what I should have been selecting. Oh, because I got in the way. My bad. Little annoying about ghosts. Wish that they would be able to be hit if I, they can hit me. It's already fine enough that they can go through walls. Oh, you bastarding bitch. But I shall use a max elixir. Die. That's very rude game to give them the ability to remove my main ability of hurting them. At least they're not flooding the dungeon with ghosts just yet. I say. So since these guys know spite, I should probably be extra careful. I didn't even see how many items were on the floor, but honestly, I don't think I needed more items. Just pray to Arceus if you get cursed, basically. I think I got cursed once. That was hell. I don't even know what trap that is. Die. We're just gonna continue on. One item on this floor, let's get out of here. Do the dinosaur. And not become extinct. But I guess we wouldn't really be doing the dinosaur. We'd be doing better than the dinosaur. We're not gonna survive this. And the palette changed again. Either that or I'm blind. Maybe I'm both. Maybe it did change and I am still blind. The wonders of modern technology. Now I'm wondering, like, if the Pokemon world had their own variant of, like, the internet. Like, would the- how many of the partners would have, like, a YouTube channel? And what would they post about? No idea about, like, the rescue team partner. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're just so basic. He would, he would be a Let's Play channel. Silas would all obviously be a explorer fanboy, going, like, on and on about various things explorer-related. And then no idea about the, the last two, because I... Completely forget Super Mystery Dungeon's partner's personality. 
and because I only played a little bit and it's been forever. And then I haven't played Gates to Infinity, so I don't know their personality. <laughs> Pokenet. I think that'd be interesting. Well, at least I was gonna leave this place anyway. <laughs> Wigglytuff does have... <laughs> I would imagine Wigglytuff would have social media, but he would only post about perfect apples. <laughs> Interesting. Dust Noir's unevolved form is here. Hanging out. Like, in the world of Pokemon, I wonder if that would be weird, depending on, like... Because obviously, due to gameplay, many, many Pokemon can't be that different from other versions of themselves. But I wonder, like, in the actual Pokemon world, what kind of differences there would be between Pokemon. The partner does get their own theme in Super Mystery Dungeon. So maybe they're a musician. Please die. Just think of the catharsis, Silas. Think of the catharsis every single time you attack one of them, like, mummy motherfuckers. Just imagine that it is... <laughs> Dust Noir. I'm honestly surprised that we still have room in our bag. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christmas. Well, thank you for... <laughs> ...opening that up for us. So that we don't get separated in this hell. Man, it's a good thing we keep finding all these frozen apples, Silas. Like, they just don't rot because it's the time is frozen. Oh, God. Dead bodies from all these, like, insane Pokemon wandering these frozen dungeons for eternity. They die, but their bodies don't rot. They just stay there. Well, that would be horrifying. You think you come across the sleeping Pokemon? Yeah, it's a dead body. Oh, level up for the boy. Ah. Level 34, you say? If we weren't being chased by the Sableye, we'd have all the time in the world. I guess we can go over here. Thank you for taking an orderly line so we can gather up these rocks. A dainty box. I don't really care about the box or these rocks. I will take a reviver seed, though. One apple. I'll take that apple. And then we can leave! He got brick, brick tough yet? I don't think so. <sighs> You've been climbing a long time now. Wow! Look at that, Neon. It was true. The future really is a world of darkness. That cluster of lights. It's beautiful, but those lights. Isn't that the stockade? Yeesh. I wonder how many Sableye live at the stockade. Hey, Neon. The Great Dusk Noir saved us more than once. He taught us many things, too. That's why I... I came to really respect Dusk Noir. But was Dusk Noir... deceiving us? Even after all this, I still can't believe it. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm feeling all jumbled up. Silas... What should we... What should we do now? How far do we have to run? How do we get back to our own world? Everyone at the guild. I wonder how they're doing. 
Are they worried about us? Wiggly, tough, Chadot, Bidoof, and everyone else? I wonder if they're doing well. I... I miss the guild. I want to see everyone. Silas is feeling pretty down. It's only natural. What's happened so far, it's all so hard to believe. I'm scared too. But I can't give up now. If we don't get, keep going, those Sableye will catch us. I've got to do something to cheer up Silas. The words of support will seem like false comfort right now. If there was something I could say, something that offers a glimmer of hope, if only there was some hope we could work toward it. It could be anything. I just need to think of something. Huh? What is it, Neon? Hmm. I say, let's find Grovile. What? You want to go after Grovile? Why? Hmm. I guess I want to ask him something. Ask him something? Oh, I see. Grovile went to our world from here the first time. So Grovile should know how to travel to our world, but... Isn't Grovile a bad Pokemon? Didn't he come to our world to steal the time gears? How could I trust anything he would say? What about you, Neon? Do you trust him? We have to trust him. Because he's the he is the only thing here that has like not really hurt us. The only time that he attacked us was when we were getting in his way between the time gears, and that was only because and he was apologetic the entire way. We have to trust him. Well, I can't trust him. A Pokemon like that? Never! There's no way that I can trust him. There's no way, but... But... I understand, Neon. I don't know why, but Dustnoir wants to get rid of us. That means the only other Pokemon we know here in the future. That leaves only Grovile. We have no choice. We must pin our hopes on Grovile. Well then... Okay. Okay, Neon. Let's track down Grovile. Let's meet with Grovile and ask him how we return to our world. Silas! Let's go, Neon! Let's go after Grovile! Neon, thank you. You tried to pick me up because I was feeling down. Even though you should be just as scared as I am, Neon. I'm sorry. Even though I have my closest and most precious friend with me, I worried all alone. This song. This song is sweet. And almost gave up alone. I'm trying to think. There's a motif in here. I have to listen to this. Da, 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 I know this song, or at least, or at least these notes that make up the core of it, I remember it, but I don't know what from. And almost gave up alone, when in fact, I'm not. I won't give up anymore. Because you're by my side. I can be brave, Neon. I'm going to be fine now. So let's keep going, Neon. Let's get back to our world. Together! Even though I know the ending, this still makes me cry. It's just like, I was getting teary-eyed listening to that music box. Since Grovile left, it's been one straight shot without any branching paths. So Grovile should be ahead of us on the same path. Let's go, Neon. Let's catch up to Grovile. Hmm. I just, I love this game. I'll put away the, like, main things. But I think I'll blast most of them away, because most of these will just take up space that I can't really afford. But yeah, that music box. That music box is so good. 
I love when... Because, like, I also remember... Actually, yeah, now I remember. There are two songs that I remember really well from Super Mystery Dungeon. One is, like... I forget what it's called, but it's an early dungeon song. And it's, like, kind of... Ominous and dungeony. I forget the whole... The name of it. It's like ancient something or like something something like that. And then the partner theme music box is the other one that I remember really, really well. But let's go. Are you ready, Neon? All set! Okay, let's go. This game is held deep in my heart for the first game that made me cry. Mood. The first game to make me cry was Rescue Team, funnily enough. And even replaying Rescue Team, like, beating it last year, still almost made me cry. Again, only doing the voice acting is what stopped me from crying on stream then. Let's see if this game can do it too. I mean, this stream alone, it has made me teary-eyed twice. One in Eggly Buff the Prodigy. And then again, right there at the music box. Seriously. I'm so happy they decided to make these spin-off games. And honestly, it's kind of impressive that we've gotten technically excuse me. I'm hiccuping because my body is dying. But it's honestly kind of impressive. That Mystery Dungeon has gotten, like, uh, how many games? Like, I guess, ba ba ba. Trying to think. Technically, five main games: Rescue Team, Explorers, GTI, Super, and then Rescue Team DX on Switch. And it's just like, considering. Like, other Pokemon spinoff games, like TCG and Pinball. It is kind of... It, I really like that Mystery Dungeon has gotten so much attention over the years. Especially because it's only existed since the DS era. And it got two games on DS and two games on... Uh, 3DS. Ho Unf unfortunately, looks like we won't be getting uh, two games on Switch unless there's a surprise at Pokemon Day this year. <laughs> Where's that music box in the uh, soundtrack anyway? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to hunt it down because that is just so good. It's just so good. love this game. I'm so, I'm so happy I decided to jump into this, because I just, like, I forget why I chose to play this. Because, like, I completely forget my thought process for why I decided to do Mystery Dungeon in my stream schedule. It's just, I just love these games. Again, the only downside for me is that the gameplay is fine enough. I like it. It's a vehicle, but I adore the, the story and the characters and stuff a million times more. That's why I keep saying, like, I would take a Mystery Dungeon-esque game that's a different genre like 3D beat em up and stuff. Just take the same world. Pokemon rule over the world. There's issues. There's dungeons. Go into dungeons, do stuff, but like, have it be a 3D beat em up. I'd love it. I would buy that in a heartbeat. Where are all these TMs coming from anyway? Ah, uh, great. Halfway point. And we're getting some 
bassy music. And once again, I adore the custom maps that they make for each, like, special location. I really like it. We must be getting close to the bottom now, Neon. We have to catch up to Grovile soon. Let's keep it up. I've gone quite deep. There's not much farther now. I know that. I know that stone. If I get through here, I should be at the forest. The Sableye are coming. There's no time to waste. That reminds me. I wonder how those two are doing. Have they eluded the Sableye? Oh, forget it. This isn't the time. I have to give priority to my own mission no matter what. I vow to complete it, even if it means making sacrifices. Time to go. You there. Stop! Huh? Who's there? You invade this place with no warning. Then you disturb our slumber. Then without apology, you try to leave. Who's there? Who are you? You dare to anger us? We expect you to pay for these insults. Where are you? Quit hiding and reveal yourself. You accuse us of hiding. We do not hide. We are. We are We are spirit tomb. There is no mercy for those who transgress against us. And now I've become lightheaded from doing that voice. I would do a lot to get actual seasons of the anime instead of the three pilot episodes of the anime. Like, yeah. It, I would personally say, don't even, like, base any of the anime off of an existing, like, mystery dungeon game. Just set it in a mystery dungeon world and have it be its own story so that you can go all out. Because the main problem with, like, the... Well, actually, no, because I forget how much is actually told in the anime. Because I, I'm a failure because I have not actually watched any of them. I'll need to fix that someday. Who knows, huh? Maybe I should make a reaction channel, react to them. That could maybe be fun. Oh, and this music it was a bop. Fine, you want to die? But back to thoughts. Like uh, the main problem with like the anime of the games, even if they're just like singular episodes, is that they have to present enough of like the story and game and world and stuff. But also without s super spoiling everything, it's kind of weird. But yeah, if like you motherfucker, give me my my foe back. We have yeah, just like make your own original story that would better flow through an anime, set it in the world, like just go ham. Well, it's based on Sky. Yeah, the an that anime is. I'm just saying that like. If they ever wanted to make more animes with Mystery Dungeon premises, I would advise making them original stories. Maybe make references to, like, the other, like, heroes and partners of the ages. But don't feel beholden. Do some cool shit on your own. Damn it, I did it again! I tried to step, but then my movement was bad. Leave my friend alone. It's all because that water patch. Why can there even be traps? Next, literally next to the stairs. is just very mean.
Yeah, because because again, my favorite part of these games is like the premise and the story. Pokemon is the main characters going on adventures is just peak. And the fact that like <laughs> it falls into just I do love it that it's just like it's an isekai. You are a human who became a Pokemon. It's like the perfect fanfic premise. And that's probably why like the Mystery Dungeon fandom is like so, what's the word, like, persevering. Where they're just like, well, if they're not going to give us our own Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, we'll just, like, make our own story. And that's why fan comics are just all the rage when it comes to Mystery Dungeon. I really need to draw more Mystery Dungeon in general so that I can maybe someday make my own Mystery Dungeon comic. Because I have story ideas, lots of story ideas for Mystery Dungeon. Sealed Ruin Pit. Hey! There's Grovile! Ugh, you two. Grovile, are you alright? Stay back! What? Why? Careful! An enemy lurks nearby! What? Where? It's right beside you! Next to me? It can't be this. Wah! <laughs> All those who trespass upon this land, none shall be forgiven! None! Not least of all, you. Who is that? Who are you? You ask that of us? Our name is Spiritomb! We are the manifestation of a fusion of spirits. One hundred and eight of them! Be careful, you two! That Pokémon is strong! <laughs> Prepare to take your punishment! Pursuit. Let's see, do I have like any seeds that I can throw at you? I have a stun seed. Would you like to uh, be fucked? Oh, ah, so that's it. I thought it was a. Hmm. I guess there's a difference between like seeds because I thought that was like a seed that. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. Because I thought it was uh, one that did paralysis, not... Bah, bah, bah. Not petrify. My bad. I misunderstood that one. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Did he just eep? I want to do in my comics is little bits of, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, my brain. Sorry, my brain can't read. My brain's tired. We've been going for four hours. Because <laughs> again, story, story, story happened. But yeah, just with the hero and partner of your story. That could also work like mini comics, kind of like comic strips in a way. So it's not like big overarching story, but like moments, which are much easier to have a, have a handle. My, 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 my voice does not want to obey me today. To be fair, I was lightheaded. I was doing that voice. Run away! <laughs> what was that? What was all that about? They got spooked and ran. Grovile! Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you get up? Somehow. <laughs> that Pokemon... It was cunning. It went up my nose and took control of my body. Well, that's a visceral feeling. So that was a bad Pokemon. No, that's not true. That Spiritomb was probably upset over us trespassing in its space. It was frightening. 
because it became so angry that it lost control of itself. But you saw what happened when the situation turned sour. It fled. It's normally a timid Pokemon. There are many such Pokemon here in your future. They are Pokemon who should be good, but they have become bitter and twisted because of this world's perpetual darkness. I see. Good Pokemon going bad because of this world. That makes me sad. Hey, you two! Now will you finally trust me? Um, somewhat? I'll admit it, I don't really trust you, but... Huh, I've told you before, there's no point in continuing together if you... There's no trust between us. I'm leaving. Wait! I didn't say I don't believe you. To be perfectly honest, we don't know what's what anymore. That's why we came to know as much as we can learn. And, true, I still don't completely trust you, Grovile, but... But what you said does make some sense. It just seems to be logical. So, please? Roval, please tell us what you know. Tell us about this future. And why you came back to our world, Grovile. So, what if everything I say is a pack of lies? It's alright. I won't accept everything you say at face value right away. I'll listen. Then decide. Well, fine. Follow me. It's safer to travel together anyway. Would you like to save your adventure? Sure. If we run into another dungeon, I think I'll just save state and end. Chapter 15. The Spirit, the Secret of the Planet's Pluralysis. Well, actually, I think we should end there. This way we can begin with a lot of story instead of wasting all the story at the end. But I'm loving this game more, more and more and more. The music... The characters, just everything. It's all good. Oh, and again, I love that there's more focus on the story in this one. Rescue Team is fine, but it's more like individual moments with like, and then this is a key episode that moves the story forward somewhat. The way, uh, ah, why instead of I, so yo-yo, it's, uh, the letter, so it's, you're right, it's, bleh, my brain. Oh, because, yeah, that's an I and then an L. I'm a dump. YOLO. Or ILO. Yeah, but it's you write it as ILO when it's YOLO. Gotcha. Sorry, my brain is just... For streaming for four hours, eats away at my brain. It's the one thing that I have to explain a lot. And I apologize for that. Because my brain is just like, I know I know how to say it, but my brain is just mush right now. <laughs> but, yeah, this game... Again, I'm just so happy that these games exist at all, because, again, other spin-off Pokemon games don't get nearly as many games as Mystery Dungeon has gotten. Again, two on uh, DS, technically, because it was at, like, a transitional generational point. Two on 3DS, so far, one on uh, Switch, even if it was a remaster remake. Which is a little disappointing because it's not anything new, but at the same time they didn't have to make too much new in the other aspects of it, aside from all the technical and art and stuff, which then makes you wonder. <laughs> so who knows? But, yeah, again, because like other fan favorites, it takes years for them to get sequels, if at all. Like, just look at Snap. It went from Nintendo 64 all the way to Switch for Snap to get a sequel. Meanwhile, Mystery Dungeon has a decent amount. So it's just like, it's kind of funny how, like, in the Mystery Dungeon sphere, they're like, oh, we wait for so long. Because it's true, it's been years and years and years between games a lot of the time. It's just kind of funny that, like, other Pokemon spinoffs, they just wait even longer. But at the same, same time, I think it's different because the other Pokemon spinoffs are much simpler. Like, Snap is an interesting idea and uh, an interesting gameplay but there's not really any story to it at least the first one and then same thing with like i don't know about the trading card game tcg pokemon that was like on the game boy i def i never played it and know nothing about it and then pinball there's like i don't think there's really a story it's just pokemon pinball but people like it and then it just didn't get a sequel <laughs> but i think it's because mystery dungeon is somewhat simple gameplay-wise, ish-ish. But at the same time, 
is just near and dear to a lot of people's hearts because of the story, world, and characters that each one creates. So there's a lot more passion to the Mystery Dungeon games. But yeah, I hope we get... Because <laughs> I think Pokemon Day should have a direct next month. So here's hoping that we get a Pokemon Day Mystery Dungeon announcement. I'd like that. Hell, what if they did, like... I highly doubt it, because it would, like, take... Well, maybe. Well, my thought process is, wouldn't it be amazing if they did, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Super Collection? Where it's Sky, Gates to Infinity, and Super Mystery Dungeon all in one collection. They'd never do it, because they'd rather sell them separately. But just imagine it. It would be fantastical. <laughs> I would buy that in a heartbeat. But yeah, I'm just loving this game. I love it. It's just such a fantastic game. The music, the characters, the world, I love it. I wonder who, who, why they decided to make a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in the first place. It's just like, let's have dungeon crawling Pokemon, where a human becomes a Pokemon. I wonder if the person who suggested that got weird looks back in the days, like, Let's make a Pokemon game where you play as a Pokemon, but also a human. But, yeah, just love this game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Once again, thank you to the people who helped create the Expanded Sky ROM hack mod. The link to it is in the description of the YouTube streams and videos of this series because they deserve... Credit. I still need to probably make an account on that website and be like, hey, I'm, I'm playing the game and it seems Mount Bristle is cursed. Someday, maybe, if I don't keep forgetting. But if you want more from me, I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're going to be continuing on our Mystery Dungeon experience next time at Saturday, 5, uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we'll learn the truth of what happened here in the future and get more story done i'm loving this if you want other things from me i have a youtube channel neon icy wings as well as the again other youtube channel for streaming and gameplay neon icy games and then the twitch channel neon icy wings for all this other streaming stuff and all links can be found in my link tree also in bios and descriptions for everything I ever do. But also, it's just linktree, linktr.ee slash neonicybings. Holds all the links to everything I do. YouTube, streaming on YouTube, streaming on Twitch. As well as art. I do lots of art, like my little character in the corner. <laughs> Sorry I didn't catch it, Neon. Next PMD stream will be Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. As always, because I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. But, again, uh, back to diddly -dee. I do many different things, like my art, similar to my little character in the corner. My brain is now telling me that I should make a PNG tumor, similar to my little character in the corner, of my Poke Soda. Because that would be amusing, it says. Maybe, maybe. Thoughts, thoughts. But back to the link tree. Links to all the sites that I post art to can be found there. So you can goggle at my Poke Soda, I guess. For, like, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, tons of places. Yeah, Twitter. It's not X, it's Twitter. Yeah. And then also other things like writing. I'm trying to write more. And you can follow my writing again through my link tree. I have links to two places where I do that, I believe. And then, if you're super duper kind and well off, you can throw a dollary do my way through my Patreon, which is a tip jar. Don't feel obligated if you're not in a safe place because the, the, the world is evil and the economy is dying and... All the economists say that we should die for the economy because the world is evil. Yeah. But yes, again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Bye, bye. Bye.